Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. He's cutting through parking lot from approaching PD. Be mindful of that. What's up, everybody? Got us a live chase. Sorry, it took my computer 67 fucking times to figure out how to turn itself on and get everything going. So. Got us a golf cart chase. Incident. I still have four units. Trying to get in the following. One of you guys needs to get out. Let's just do that. Let's put this here. Yeah, man. Golf cart chase. 1018 and 1099 are in the pursuit. Other vehicle, get out for 1070. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, first of all, if you could just bypass the fence, maybe set up a spike strip at the next intersection. All right, there we go. Fix that. Change this here. Let's go here. Let's get that going here. Okay. Yeah, it's literally a golf cart. He threw a knife out. Looks like he's got a dog with him, too. It's hard to tell. All right. Guys, let me get a... Let's get this post time for round one going. So, let's get it. Now he's been running for 10 miles. It only took me an hour and a half to get my computer to turn on with the camera and everything else. <laughs> Uh, yeah, West Valley. All right, northeast corner, Oxnard, Laurel Canyon. We're on Laurel Canyon and Oxnard in San Fernando Valley. Northeast corner, Oxnard, Laurel Canyon, the 10 11 parking lot. Oh, he's at 7 11. Fuck yeah. yeah. Running out toward the end of the 7 -11. No! Don't fucking run now! Does it look like a fucking 7 Eleven in your Damn it! Do you see that I thought that my fork here, my friend? Do you see an ATM in the corner that doesn't work? That doesn't work! 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 <laughs> that shit got stuck. Look at him. No, I can't see him. Oh, they got him. Oh, they took him down. <laughs> Dog pile. Right from the truck at 7 Eleven. Damn it. Damn it. Man, my luck is terrible, bro. 10 minutes should have been on this motherfucker. Ah. No, they're dogpiling him. I'm just saying, there's no dog. I'm, they're dogpiling him. As in, like, seven offers jump on top of you. Remember dogpiling when you are a kid? Well, there is a dog right there. So, yeah. They got the dog. Hey, <laughs> Rod. Yeah. yeah, he threw a knife out, Rick, apparently. While I was turning my computer on and off ten times. Oh, look at him. He's sweet. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at the sweet puppers. Yeah. Poor pup. Uh, they didn't say where it came from. I mean, I was busy trying to get on. And, of course, the second I get on, it's two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Okay. Oh, Terrible. Terrible. 10 8 9 10 8 9 your status. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they do take the dog in custody, Greg. Dog usually goes to animal services until somebody can pick him up. And if this dick goes into jail for a long time, not a good thing. All right, I'm eating up. All the Leo's little puppies. Yeah, most of them, I would say. It looks like a security guard. Look, it's got a little light on the top. <laughs> 
Like he took it from uh, a movie set or something. I don't know. Looked like one. Jill. Sucker in. It looks like a security cart, yes. Yeah. What's up, Nancy? Yeah, I don't know where his uh, shirt and shoes are. <laughs> Sam. He didn't have any when he got off the cart. <laughs> he took them off. I mean, he threw a knife out, so I don't know. Maybe he threw off his clothes. I don't know. Apparently, because our computer sucks, things doesn't want to turn on. It takes forever to do everything. Now. Seventeen, your status. Your status. Shots fired. Heard only in the area of eight thousand. Shots fired. Possibly from the school. Code two and seven three seven three shorty fourteen sixty six. Hi, baby boy. Hi, oh, baby boy. Was that you on the golf cart with him? Was it you on the golf cart with the bad guy? Bet it was. Bet it was you. Ten eight three. Ten eight three. Come in. There was that guy right there. Oh, thank you. I love him. Little bad kid. <laughs> yeah. Sucks the second I start it goes, right, Tim? That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, it's heating up. It's almost there. Oh, it's there now. Let's go. Oh, look, it's jammed up. Let's go. It's tie board. Round Imagine if it was going that fast. <laughs> yeah, of course it had to end at 7 Eleven, right, Pam? That's just how it works. Uh, link tree? Okay, there you go. There's the link tree right there. 70, do you need a field show up? With Alright, they need the feel show up for whoever he stole it from. Alright, so the, the security guard who owns this cart or run, or usually uses the cart, they're about to do a field show up. See if this was, uh, of course, the person who stole it, which we pretty much know it was. Oh, thanks you, man. Thank you, bro. I guess that's it, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go to the helicopter. Let's go to our chopper. I guess the Channel 4 is done with it. Give me a sec here. Channel 4 was out quick. Let's see if 7 even picked it up. I don't think they did. And fuck 11. Any North Hollywood unit 450 Mount 11122 Riverside Drive, East Mount Riverside. Oh. Lions? Mail, two How shots are you? On the roadway. It's code 2 and 3743 or D1566. Yeah, 5 didn't get it either. Mm. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah, it sucks. This is my luck. <laughs> by, the time he, by the time I got on, he fucking was already pulled over at the 7 Elevens. Yeah, it sucks. Don't bail on us like, you know, well, you talk about him or me. I, you know, I can't control these ding-dongs. It stinks that they uh, decided to, he bailed out like that. But uh, what can you do? We've had some strange chases this month. My dad's gone live at a scene. We'll hop over and see what he's up to. What the heck? I heard only look at the Beverly two for gunshots heard. It's good to get to the three seven five two and RD two thirty seven. Why is it not three showing up? Across the really? Broadway. Come on now, let's go. What are we doing here? What are we doing? 
Clean the there we go. Just it's nice to see the computer wants to work today. All right. Decided to show up. E3 is Code 6 on Elite Model Truck. 6M Ever Lincoln 990. Oh, 6M Ever Lincoln 990. Hold on a second. Let's see. It's possible for Vanessa 6 there now. 17644 will be away. 17644 will be away. 11% ending up in the back door of the rear house. 10 30 10 what do I think of Flamin' Hot? I don't like anything called Flamin' Hot, first off. NFL autographed jerseys, just break it. It boxes with three mem. Yeah, I'm good. I don't even know what you're saying. I'm good. I don't, I don't collect jerseys. Those jerseys are, you know, not game worn or anything like that. So there's, they're basically fanatic jerseys just signed. I'm good on that stuff. Yeah, the PR in front of the location wearing a black cat, zip up jacket, red and blue Hawaiian shorts, what we use was a hatchet. That might prefer their code three is what? three seven five three RD one forty four. Weapon use was a hatchet? Here's Johnny. Here's second and Lucas, second and Lucas near the park. Okay. Unknown wearing park hooded sweatshirt, yeah. shot fork on shots and sweat on direction, code three six seven five nine R two three seven. <laughs> sure, we can go check out the bar. Three What's up, Diamond T? Yeah, I'm good on that kind of stuff, like buying those fanatics jerseys autographed and shit like that. Nah. Nah. I'll save my money. And again, if you're a fan of that kind of thing, then, you know, go ahead and get them. Frame them up. They look nice in a man cave. Holy shit. What is going on right here? What is going on right there? What's homeboy doing? What is he? Is that a shark outfit? Oh, it's a shark, right? <laughs> oh, look at fucking Jaws. This guy. That dude's great, right? All right, that's a second sh shooting, and that's a victim down. Five, six, seven, eight pussies that got hit with this case. Mmm. It's all over. It's all done. It's all done. Baby shark. <laughs> is that what that is? Supposed to be the baby shark? Baby shark, baby shark. Bonnie to the block. Back up. Uh, did I watch football today? No, I did not. I worked today. That's why I might look sunburnt. My face looks a little red. And I smashed my, uh, <laughs> smashed my leg pretty good. Let's see if we can get this on here. Can you see the lump right here? Can you see that lump right there? <laughs> Notice how the leg is like, and then it goes outward. <laughs> lumpy. Oh, lumpy. Just keep mouth with the oh, lumpy. Oh, lumpy. Suspect my white tattoo on these white shirt, blue pants. Hand handling, holding a razor blade key to a screwdriver in the same hand, holding a brown grocery bag. It's code two and seven three seven six eight already fourteen twenty seven. Uh, I had to move a motorcycle that I asked somebody to move a long, long time ago, and the tire was flat on the bike, and it was it was a Harley. So when I went to put the bike on the on the kickstand, it. And, and you know when I when I sh when I went like this to get the kickstand out, it hit my right leg, and then you know obviously because the kickstand's on the left, and so yeah. And that's what happens when I tell you to move your bike and you don't move your bike, goes out on the street. Thirty-seven at Willis and Gilmore Gray Chevrolet pickup seven Victor seven zero. 8717 Victor 70871 engine running for What kind of socks do I wear? These are Hanes. Oh, you know, whatever Target, Walmart, fucking, yeah, no fucking expensive shit. Jefferson is not possible. ADW is suspect. If her location suspect is a male black gray shirt, blue jeans, with a gun under his shirt, French kill PR. Not my, not my problem, Mogul. I asked him over and over and over. 
over and over and over. And if you don't comply, that's that. <laughs> don't worry, David. You can come get it too. Yeah, don't worry. I'm hopefully it's already gone. Shit, Richard Clark, that ain't Buzz. You in here, Buzz? Buzz. Where's your buddy OF? I don't know. I don't know if OF's in here. All I know is a couple of you guys got awful angry. I'm not going to say the two names, but talks about us like he knows us. And you guys talk about each other like you know each other. And you guys ain't met each other. <laughs> Nine out of ten of you ain't met each other. <laughs> Do you realize that? Oh, Buzz. <laughs> oh, Tammy, I heard you fighting with her. <clears throat> yeah. No, I had to work all weekend. That's why I told you I couldn't. You know, it's got too backed up at work. And, you know, it is what it is, man. And just life in the big titty sometimes. You got to work. Can you demonstrate, you know, for the team around two I did, Emiliano. Street at the business. This big as a mill has been in 30 years. Is that, is that his hair? Oh, that's his hair. Dang, that's a long dread. He got the long dread. This dude's dancing awesome. Watch him. <laughs> this dude got the moves, bro. He got the moves, bro. He's like he could barely stand up. <laughs> got the moves, kid. Slow down. You got the moves. Moves like Jagger. <laughs> uh, extremely low effort. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's his wife or not. Maybe he's just really drunk and he's pretending to dance with her. <laughs> Do I mean, Ricky Bobby drops? I don't. Cheers, y'all. Oh, shit. Oh my god, without any further ado, it's time for round two. This is bullshit. It's like Cypress Hill concert in here. Oh, damn, just pushed the shit on her foot. Oh, she was mad. Did you see the drink dip down onto her foot and she pulled it back and said, damn. Damn, I got margarita feet. <laughs> That's her son. <laughs> she ain't that old. Stop it. Hold on, wait, wait. Shooting on the 210, but there's the boyfriend at Hanson Dam, huh? Crazy ass shit. What's going on? <laughs> He's a dude? Yeah, he is. Remember, most of them are dudes. And all the chicks you think are dudes are not chicks. They're dudes. <laughs> <coughs> She's babysitting. Orange Line Station, 5380 Woodley Avenue. So yes, these treads are long. Look at that shit. It was ass. Look how long that shit is. Like one dread. Think that's an extension, guys? How's one dread that long and none of the other ones? I mean, I don't know. They're bummed. They're bundled up, but. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, Mary Terry. No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, they're back. The 26th. Again, a battery just occurred. Poplar and Huntington Drive south at the 7 Eleven. Monitor comments. Let's go to incident 3788 RD429. Another 7 Eleven call. Shit, yeah. Does it look like a fucking 7 Eleven, you arms? Do you see the red dot on my forehead, here, my friend? Do you see an ATM in the corner that doesn't work? Do you? No, you don't. So well, fuck you, my friend. Street, suspect is a female black wearing a white shirt. Jean shorts armed with the bat. Suspect vehicle is a burgundy Ford truck parked next to your vehicle on the street. Suspect threatened PR. 
young brother. Let's go three instead of three seven eight nine already thirteen seventy. She's armed with a bat. Well, maybe she's a baseball fan. This aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> That's right. Good old seven lit. Wait till Friday City Council when you get your package. It'll be fun, Jason. We get it. Uh, I wouldn't even waste your time golfing guns. It's meh. Meh. I mean, we can, I can put it up now. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah, it wasn't, uh, didn't miss much. You know me, I always tell you to go back if it's something that, you know, you can't miss, but this was pretty, uh, meh. But let's see if they put up the whole thing. I don't even think they have any of it up yet. They, they have an article of it, but, uh, I don't see the video up yet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Part, the next town meetings will be on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Well, 10, 15, you know how it works. <laughs> you know how they never get there on time. <clears throat> Look at that, the writers. It's funny because I was talking to my buddy today, Sherman Augustus. Shout out to Sherm. He's on that show, um, Stranger Things. And uh, I told him I want him to come down on the show. So hopefully maybe in the next month or so we can get him down here. You know, he used to be my neighbor um, until I, of course, moved away. And, uh, you know, get him on here, man. Make him smoke a joint. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All the Stranger Things fans will come hang out. And, uh, yeah, it's funny enough as it is, is we were actually talking about um, we were talking about that just a, a little while ago, like the chase. I'm sorry about the um, the strike rather. And, um yeah, funny enough as it is, they they then they ended it today. It's pouring, not here, Jennifer. Wish. His name is Sherman Augustus. He used to play in the NFL. It's pouring out there. Yeah. Let's see. see, it's pouring pretty good out here. So, oh, is that a flat? Oh, no, I thought that was lightning. That was the light of the car. <coughs> but, yeah. He's been in some different movies as well. blue polo shirt. Check PR is 2014 YET Cherokee license. A Paul X Ray Charles 955. A Paul X Ray Charles 955. It's go to incident 3798 and RD1372. All right, someone just got their car stolen. Where is my automobile? Yeah, so he, he was the killer in the movie The Mexican. Um, he was the one that got smoked by James Gandolfini. He was in Colors, the movie Colors. Um, he was also he was also in some I forget the movie. I mean the series, a series, uh, like a martial arts series um, on like TBS. I don't remember the name of the show. Um, so yeah, he does he does a lot of the work. He played in the NFL for a few years. Um, He's writing stuff now too, as well, uh, you know, as well as being an actor. So. Yeah, man. Makes himself a good little living. Doing what he loves to do. Being his own, you know, being his own boss, really. So can't can't uh, knock it. He loves it. I don't think it's lightning. I think it's... It's just the lights. I don't know. I think it's just the lights. But we can go up top. Hold on. I'll, I'll, let's see. Let's see if I'm wrong. We'll go up top right now because they, they have a camera on top. So we can go check that out. Let's go see. You, uh, yeah, yeah. you guys watch that one for just a moment. And I'll switch the cameras to the top patio beach. I think it's the beach one. All right, well, yeah, it's fo holy shit. 
This is it. this is what's going on outside when these bulls are just drinking. <laughs> Look at the push. Look at the sheets of rain going by. All right. Sounds good to me. Car's just sitting at the light, getting ready to get blown over. Holy shit. Good old Fort Lauderdale, Florida live, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. I wish it was doing that right here, right now. I'll trade you guys. You guys can have the fucking boring ass, same fucking 80 degree, no cloud having days. You all can have it. Give me that. There's the cops right there. Oh, was that a little lightning? Heavy rain, yeah. Heavy rain, yeah. Victim sitting on top of a shipping container, male, white, black hat, white shirt, and black pants. Dude, that uh, wins whip. Three unknown suspects <laughs> put two incident three zero nine thirty nine two forty six. Bro, that right there is probably just a regular storm in Florida. That would be like some super shit in California. He's been like, oh man, look at the sheets of rain. We're all gonna die. Oh fucking states gonna slide in the water. Street subject is Danelli. Ramirez, female Hispanic, 17 years, DOB of 57 2026. Can I post a link to this one? I don't know. Um, Suction medium build. Wearing a gray shirt, black shirt, pants, mental condition is good. Whoa, that was definitely, whoa, that was definitely some lightning. Because <laughs> I saw it on the other one inside while you guys were watching that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, what I'm going to do is, look, I'm just going to link you the, the other one we were watching, okay? And when you click on that one, they have four cameras, okay? So you have four cameras that you can choose from. The beach, the patio, and the indoor, the the and the end bar. So there's the link. Put in the chat. Yeah. Right, let me take off my hat too, since the chase is over. I get. Oh, let me change the title too before. Fuck. Dude, you're just quick painting, bro. I want to see Jay. <laughs> Hold on, it's like damn. I don't even have. I don't even work that. Any West Valley Air Batteries, that's what they're now. 19616 Lowell Street. Suspect this officer's boyfriend, male Hispanic, 30 years, being a white shirt. No further description. Line was disconnected. Code 2 incident 3817 or D1001. Oh, yeah, Stink's got to go to the vet tomorrow. So, Stink's got to go to the doctor. Yes, yeah, Stinky. It is hurricane season. That is true. So, yeah, man, it's got a good little, good little rain amount. Wind pushing. This is at uh, our normal bar. This is outside of this right now. See, you just saw the lightning pop. Oh, if you look outside where the car is over there, you can see the pops of lightning. This fool needs to pull his pants up. He's had a little too much to drink with his fucking shark babe, baby shark fucking thing. This dude's looking. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This dude's almost passed out. Look at him. <laughs> Another car wreck. Sorry. Yeah, he's passed out, dude. Look at him. I'm trying to get the water back in him. Get some back. Get some of him back. That's why we were going up here because this is the roof cam outside of what you're looking at in there. And it's funny. They're just all chilling. It's like it's nothing. It's Florida, man. It's normal. <laughs> People in California be shitting. They wouldn't be all sitting like this. They'd be standing at the door with their drinks, looking at this with their phones out, like, oh my God, look at all this rain. Look at all the wind. Again, uh, it's possible for 15 miles with a gun, 3619 Cardiff Avenue, 3619 Cardiff Avenue. Suspect so possibly a male, black shirt, black pants, holding a large gun with both hands. It's good three and so three, two, six, three, four, two, three, nine. The Soul Assassin's hat? No, I was wearing a Soul Assassin's shirt today, but this is a Dodger hat. D for Dodgers, D for Damon. 
Yeah, buddy. But funny enough as it is, is I was wearing a Soul Assassin shirt that I have. Well, the one with the skull with the snake in it. That coming, it almost looks like Mike Mike McGill. That was his name, right? Was it Mike McGill from Pal Peralta? Hey, bam! That was a fucking nasty one, dude. It is Three fucking. It is ripping outside. Look at this shit. Jeez. Look at it, dude. Look at in front of the lights of the car. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, you gonna, I wouldn't be rolling around in that little toy, bro. Look at this shit. The storm's just going to pick you up, pull you into the ocean. Oh. I mean, I needed a green screen. I got a green screen for the kitty cats. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's just a big baby. Look at that face. He's the cutest cat ever. Look at him. Are you not the cutest cat ever? Yes, you is. Yes, you is. You're the cutest cat ever. You're going to get it, stinky. You're going to get it, stinky. You're going to get it, stinky. Central Unit Family is cutting 506 South Grand, 506 South Grand at the Belmont Hotel, subject male light, mid 40s, gray shirt, black shorts, he's black pants, waving a knife, cutting his face. It's code 3 and 33, one already, 152. What? Dude, homeboy is cutting his own fucking face? That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cheese! 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 This motherfucker cutting up his own face. What are you doing, dog? Little DUI. Yep, there he goes. He gone. What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there, Thanks. Are you going to go up on your bed? Amazing no power surges. Oh, you mean with the uh, power, I mean the storm like that? Yeah, it's wild, right? You'd figure, but... I mean, I, I I bet you it's, oh, it's just great for them. You know, they love it. These people just, oh, my God, I know you saw that that lightning. I know you did. I know you see it. Oh, here comes another one. Look up to the left. Dude, it is fucking rocking out there, bro. Stinks is over it. Yeah, that's how it is. All right, I'll, yeah, I'll get one more with you guys. Let's get a post time for a. Uh, Oh, there he goes. I didn't even see him. That's what he did. I knew it. I knew you was going to do that, kid. I knew it. There he is. Oh, oh. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yeah, you want to go up to his little seat right there. Dude, it is rocking and rolling. Man, I love this. I wish it was... Dude, I need to tell you that I think, you know, living here for many decades, I, I have only seen maybe three lightning storms like that. Maybe three. Certainly no ra rain like that with it. Maybe. Single speed gray bicycle. Information on incident 3764. What's up, Chris? The double whiskey sour flower. Damn, look at that. I tell you, we just don't get the electrical storms, you know, like like uh, that. At least where I'm at here. You know, out in the desert a little bit, you know, Riverside, those places. They, they get some good electrical storms sometimes. But not so much here, man. Yeah, I got to go get me some weed. I mean, I got to go on the bus. I got to go get, get the bus to downtown and go see Martinez and shit. Because I'm running low. And we know that Martinez stuff 
is the bomb. <laughs> like, uh, that's all I have. I, no, I'm just kidding. Your possible AGW I got about two, four, three, six, Houston, four Street, grams, Mills, if that. Maybe. Maybe. But, although I, I, I might only have four grams of flour. There's two ounces of sauce. So we are two male Hispanics, 30 years, both wearing black hoodie and black pants. Weapon use was a black semi-auto handgun incident, 3784. Got that. Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I got plenty. I just don't, um, I just, I'm all out of the flour. But the good thing is, is the order's already in and we've already set the date pick up the flour and um there's some new flavors that'll be here you know remember we had the p-rex and the flow the pk the pure kush Citizen holding a head run suspect 2809 of star avenue 2809 of star avenue quick three and seven three eight four four d eleven thirty four little hit and run Five, action two, one, one, eight, nine, ten, verbal decision only Possible kidnap in progress, Vermont Whoa. and 120th, Vermont and 120th, on bus 8779. Suspect is a male black wearing a pink hooded sweatshirt. Victim is a female with a white sweater. Code 3 7 3 8 3 9, or the 1831, Southeast Newtown, identify. Little kidnapping call on the bus? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, Stinks is sleeping in the storm. That's how he does it. Smoking on that KC Purple Chem. Funny enough as it is there, Brian, one of them is a Chem Dog Cross with something else. I don't even remember the names. I mean, there was just so much new shit that he's been working on that, <clears throat> you know, just kind of expand different flower, different flower, um, you know, um, strains that he wanted to come up with. So, I'll take a dab with you guys in a sec. Hold on. Let me, um... Let me uh, bust up this last little bit of weed I have at least in here. My other little jar is in the in the room. Little Chem Dog ninety one. Yeah, Chem Dog's a good. That's a good strain. It's been around for a bit, but it's not straight Chem Dog. Just just so we're clear, it's it's a quad cross. It's four it's four different strains. That's how my friends do it, man. They. They push the limits. They don't. They're not just taking what everybody else is doing. No, 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 no. They're taking the four best that are at the moment and mixing it. You know, true geneticists. You know. Yeah, Kim Dog's a solid strain. There ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, that's what I'm saying. So you take, you know, a couple of good strains. You know, you base them out together because you know they're all good. You know, singly or singularity. Singularity. <laughs> Hold on, let's get this out. Singularly. Uh, no, the show is on Thursday at 10 a.m., Sam, for the uh, for the um, city council. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I'm talking about. I want the lightning storm. All right, so we got the whole jar there. And I got to, that reminds me, I got to take some uh, alcohol. See, so remember, guys, when you have your alcohol to clean your bong, just alcohol to clean your ball jars. That way the ball jar doesn't have any, old, you know, trichomes from the last shit stuck to the sides and all that. It's a fresh, brand new jar. Take a baby bottle cleaner with a little bit of 99% on the side and boom, shake it around. Boom, wash it. Let it dry out. And then you got brand new ball jars. You don't have to buy new ones all the time. And then you can take rubbing alcohol and also write, you know, which strain it is. And then you can wipe it right off, you know, Sharpie. And then the well, Sharpie comes right off with the alcohol. Oh, yeah, man, we'll see possible 242 involved. 1555 Vine Street, Unit 485C. <coughs> see security <coughs> will provide entrance and direct to the apartment. It's 323 or Robin, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very new year. Happy birthday, you're the thing from another world, you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 
Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, you know, there's no need to buy new ones, and it's, it's nice, it's clean. You don't have to, oh, what strain is this? I got to open it up and smell it. No, you, you just you just know. You, all, you might want to also put a date on them. And another good thing, too, um, for the ones that get weed, sometimes, you know, you're picking it down, and you don't want to dry it like the old school way in a fucking paper bag or a cardboard box, which works. You can put it in the ball jar, and you can get silica sacks. Okay, you know it's silica sack. The, the owl, you know, you buy tennis shoes, and there's those little packet silicate packets. Okay, little sacks or packets that are in your shoes, and they're they're there to keep your shoes dry when they're shipped, right? In shipping containers, you put those inside the weed, in the jar with the weed. And close it up. I'll tell you now, don't leave it for more than a maybe a day, because it's gonna go from wet to. Real quick, real quick. So there's some stoner tech for you. That's the quick way to dry it, the, a good way, in the jars. All I say is pay attention because it will get too dry. It'll go from being wet to where you couldn't light it to fucking dust. Oh, man, this is straight dust. So be careful. Yeah, it could be dusty in a day. So that's, that's all I say. Be careful. Just be mindful of it and check it. And you can start to, feel, you know, you start to feel it. So, Bovita packs. Yeah, there you go. See, same kind of thing, right? So, damp rid. I don't know if I want damp rid. I mean, so I see people using acid tone to fucking clean their bong, which to me is wild. It's like, it's way too much. I mean, rubbing alcohol, they're using it at the hospital on you. They ain't using acid tone on nothing in your body that I know of. Kenmore Avenue, lasting for a painters. hours, subject is a female Hispanic, 70 years, white curly shoulder length hair, black Bud eyes, Vax? thin build, 5'2", wearing unknown color blouse, it's expensive. blue skirt, subject suffers from Alzheimer's, so to a 3861 or D2020. What I'm telling you is a dollar to... Bro, another 7-Eleven. Dude, you tell me 7-Eleven aren't crazy. So he's got a large rifle and a ski mask? Let's get it. Subject male white, 30 to 45 years, 5'7, five, seven, bald Let's white, button up shirt, gray shorts, 390, code 2 incident, 3871, RD1796. Man, what's wrong with this fucking thing, dude? Hold on. What is wrong with my mouse? My mouse is 88%. So the trackpad's at 11%, and it's working. The other one's at 18%. This motherfucker's at 88%, but won't work. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's Steve. Any hello, I'm making a better domestic violence suspect. Who's at 33 Evan Terrace? This coach has 3872 already 417. All right, mouse off. Can we get it to say mouse on? Okay, connected. Thank you. Thank you, mousey. The, the rifle is large? Yes. Phoenix code 4, Jefferson and Western. Western. <laughs> Oh man, y'all did Terry like that. Give me home, I'm back in it for 15 women, 3349 right. Northeastern Avenue in the rear. Are you suspect female Hispanic, late 40s and 50s, short black hair, no further. Monitor comments, quote 2, incident 3873, already 427. SUV, possible, arrived 4, suspect male wire in a blue shirt, khaki pants, drinking an alcoholic beverage, possibly back into a home. Code 2, incident 3874, already 1764. Racing vehicles, Denker and Manchester, approximately 10 vehicles with pets surrounding, blocking the intersection for a street takeover. Okay. 2 3 8, 7, 6, RD 1263. All right, another street takeover. Kids just don't learn, man. They love wasting tires and shit. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, shit. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Stephanie's like, wait, what the? Wait, what? Wait, what? All right, Terry, have a good one. Supervisor 3500 Wilshire Boulevard for 11 suspects. Yeah, that's ham radio. That was not what. Well, no, that wasn't edited. That was absolutely. I remember when he said that. And again, you know, that is terminology for food in the Navy, right? <laughs> you know, just like shit on a shingle and all that, too, right? But I know, I remember when he said it. I was there. Dang, Terry. <laughs> Uh, David, that's on. Stop. Rain stop. There it goes. It's uh one four seven dot four five zero. It's busy. Four three fives in the house. What's up, repo man? Man, this thing's about to die on me too. Boy, my family. I can't get it. All right. Any such thing about her domestic violence, 754 South Olive Street in front of the Dunkin' Donuts, suspect male black, red shirt, white pants. Country incident 3883, RD162. Yeah, a little battery domestic. Please tell me how I'm going to be here. I'll see you in the third. If you want to come in traditional, go see on Century 880-134. You want to watch The Sphere in Vegas? We can go do that. Hold on. Charging in. Yeah, your two eleven silent one 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 four gas one one four north gas via the wing stop. Suspect is a male Hispanic greaser, black shorts possible gun. Suspect is currently inside his vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, purple Nissan Sentra. Additional incident. <laughs> Who picks a purple Sentra? Oh. <laughs> So shout out to the guy driving the purple center with a gun at Wingstop. Wingstop, the wing experts. <sighs> <laughs> Fucking Wingstop, dude. Ah, shit, yeah. It was pouring there just a moment ago, actually. It's... Uh... It's All units down. code All right, guys, everybody. What's up, Chad? Just sitting here watching the uh, the dome. Oh shit, Mortal Kombat! Fuck yeah, let's get it, man. Finish him. Suicide. Yeah, they've been making. They just made another Mortal Kombat. Yeah. It's crazy, really, how groundbreaking that game was. I didn't want them doing the whole pulling the fucking shit out and all the parents revolting. I don't oh, want yeah, my kids doing that. Let's go from 3476 Whittier. Suspects now Hispanic, unknown here, unknown eyes, 5'7", 130, pounds, unknown age, wearing a navy hooded sweatshirt, black long shorts and white shoes with a black sports mask. Suspect last seen south Get it, from Whittier. Weapon used was a silver Beretta, still outstanding property taken, U.S. currency incident 3794. 
Another robbery. We fuck you up, man. We take the money. Sussex are now 6905 at Wanda Avenue and the laundry room. Sussex are now Hispanics, 20, 25 years. Red, white shirt, dark pants, number two. Blue sweater, dark pants, three. Red jacket and dark pants. Vandalizing <laughs> the room with paint or markers. Go to Sussex 904, Verde 1025. All right, so some fucking tech. Air batteries, Sussex 1847 stop. West 41st Street. 1847 West 41st Street is now Avila Cuddy. Additional PR advice like my spiny five ten tattoos around with the neck attempts to stab in another resident, my black five four hundred forty five pounds. Cause it's in three ninety seven, ninety three, ninety five. No, I didn't watch any football, I didn't watch anything. No hockey, I missed the Kings game playing in Australia against the Yodis or been on the Hollywood Ducks. frequency for critical missing. Missed everything. I did nothing but work. That's it. And get fucking lumps on my legs. <laughs> That's it. Definitely snug over there, that little stinker over there. He's all curled up. He probably doesn't want to go to the doctor tomorrow, but I want to weigh him. <clears throat> Just want him to check him out. You know, because he's not really sneezing anymore too much, but, you know, still. Just best to check him out. Because we haven't taken him Please since he forward. had that UTI, which was like, what, <clears throat> four months ago, maybe? About four or five months ago. I think it was about four. So I figured, uh, just take him in. But that's it, Chris. <clears throat> I mean, I got bent fingers for a reason. Look at how bent those fingers are. No, so <laughs> I mean, I literally, this one has to go like that to even go straight. Like, I gotta bend my wrist in order to give you, like, the real fuck you because my finger's so bent. You'll be thinking, like, is he is he saying it to me or the guy next to me? I, I can't even tell. It's so bent. <laughs> Definitely joystick fingers. That's it. Knuckleballer fingers. I'll give you the goddamn hammer. That's a fucking hammer. What's up, Jorge? Yeah, man. Stop flipping <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've, I saw some blurbs, of course. I didn't watch any games, but Dion's a dickhead anyways. Deserves what he got. Mira Vimir. Female white, 94 years, from 1230 Cole Avenue. Subject was last seen southbound from the Thanks location Linda. wearing a pink robe. Subject is a Russian speaker only and suffers from dementia and high blood pressure. Information on incident 3504. Shout out to the Itruski. Suka, suka, bia. Suka, 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 bia. <laughs> Dodgers need four for one hundred. Eh. I'm just uh I'm just concerned about the pitching about the Dodgers. I'm not really worried about the wins. I'm not worried about the hitting. More concerned about pitching because, <clears throat> you know, in playoff baseball, the pitching becomes magnified like three, five, X, three to five X, I would say. So, yeah. Um, and having most mostly rookies, it's going to be a tough deal for the Dodgers. So if you ask me, you know, Clayton's still playing well coming in. Thankfully, Lance Lynn really hasn't been a, a great pickup as a veteran. And the rest are all rookies. That's it. I'll take a dab with you in a second. <laughs> it's a good thing I had a hat on. That would have fucking hurt. Well, again, it was I wasn't planning to come on, but we actually had a little chase, so I figured I wouldn't miss the chase, but the problem was I started the computer, and then the fucking camera wouldn't show up, so I restarted it, and then the stream decks wouldn't show up, so then I restarted it, so then on the third start, it finally connected everything. Let me the sheriff. 
Sepulveda and Gaffey at the gas station for a perimeter for two eleven suspects, two male black twenties wearing a red number one, wearing a red hooded sweatshirt, gray sweatpants, number two, wearing dark clothing, number three, a female black in her twenties wearing black clothing, last suspects last seen on foot. Yeah, crime. I guess they can put all that chat away of them talking about oh, yeah, Dallas winning the Super Bowl this year. Uh, robot, thank you for the offer, but I've already did the uh, the mods thing in, in YouTube, and it was just too much trouble. People kind of just pushing people out because they don't like them personally or so i just rather just do it myself and i know oh, that yeah, hey, 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 Mr. Ryan, there's 1000 national boulevard cpr box market and liquor somebody's the boy from Mel black there's seven years i'm green shirt blue jeans black and white possible vest last seen by west mountain nationals that's what i'm saying repo man you know and again with the with the you know, people again. It, it, got, hey, it just got to the point where, with the mods, you know, again, people were getting kicked out. Some of them were, you know, people that have been here for a long time. Then they're donating to me, and then they're saying, "Hey, you just kicked me out." I said, "I didn't do it." One of the mods said, "Well, I want all my money back that I donated." So then I have to have them screenshot it so I can send it all back. And it became a real big mess. Or they just got kicked out and they wanted to come back in. Then I have to search for them and I can't find them. It became a mess. So the way I see it is it's easier to just let a couple of these idiots run on until you guys make me aware of it. And then and then we take care of it. You know, because it seems to be okay with the mods that we have in Twitch and everywhere else. Everybody else seems to be cool. YouTube, it's it. you know, like I say, YouTube is a fucking, is a mosh pit. It's a mosh pit. Okay? At a, at, at a fucking... At a fucking rock show. You know, at a fucking... At, what? Come on, man. Don't be broadcasting me on there, you guys. <laughs> Come on, man. They're going to hate that. Go jam out their frequency with me on there. Come on, man. Don't do that. Whoever, I know it's one of you guys. Don't do it. Don't do that. Because they, they don't want to hear that. They can come in here if they'd like. And I'd love for them to come in. There's, everybody's welcome, man. Even the ones who don't like me. Even the ones who think I'm a weirdo and outside looking in. <clears throat> so, yeah. I just feel like it's a mosh pit at a, fucking, at a fucking heavy metal show. And as soon as your shoe comes off and someone sees your shoe, they're like, oh, here you go. Go get it. <laughs> That's how it is. So, And again, don't most of you guys come here um, to hang out and have a good time? I'd say yeah. So why on earth would I want to make you guys fucking work? Like, why would I want you to work? I don't want you to come and hang out. You just finished working, some of you. And some of you is at work right now. <laughs> Watching me and y'all should... <laughs> So that's the way I really feel about it, you know? I just don't feel like, you know, I, I, it's on. you should be hanging out and having fun, not worrying about them. Because, again, then they pick at you. Oh, you're the mod? Oh, well, you're the hall monitor. You're, you know, and then you're, they're picking at you for nothing. So that's what I'm trying to save you from. Don't worry. You'll, like I always say, you will never in this lifetime meet a successful person that's making millions of dollars if not billions ever getting on a chat in a key with a keyboard and talking shit to people why because they've learned time is of the essence and every minute they're alive they could be making more money doing other things that's why they don't pick up their dry cleaning and and they don't go to the market to go get their fucking food because they could get it they don't get their car washed because they realize all that time they could be sitting making millions, if not hundreds of thousands, if not billions of dollars while you're doing all those menial tasks for them. And that's how successful people do it. So when you see people in here doing that, you know automatically they're telling on themselves they're not successful. Central traffic units, ambulance traffic 6 and San Julian, 6 and San Julian, vehicle versus Ted. 
Code 33931, already 156. Someone just got hit by a car. Oh, yeah, it's Avenue. They're all depressed as fuck. Ah, uh, well, it could be some of that depression, too. Jealousy could be a few different emotions Anyone wrapped in one. Absolutely. You're a brokey or a bookie? Yeah, family just 221315, Moscow Boulevard, apartment 156. So close. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What? What's ouch? I described you to a T. Except for the success, right? <laughs> so, yeah, man. All right, yeah, give me a sec here. We can, uh, I'll find something. Yeah, give me a second. I know. Give me a second. Okay, because the bar's kind of dead. Dead. Oh, hit by a car. Is it? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Definitely an ouch there, man. A lot of that happening. It's unfortunate, man. So many people ain't paying attention. I mean, fuck, we see it all the time in um, Bakersfield. How many times do we see people getting hit by cars or crossing the street now that jaywalking is not a, you know, legal? It's completely legal, rather, now. So, so, because of that, you have a lot of people getting hit by cars now. Fortunate. Unfortunate. People don't care. Oh, let's do this. Is that part? No, it's not what I wanted. No, Washington. LA. LA. Gas prices dropping like I'm supposed to. Man, I saw almost eight bucks today for fucking diesel. Eight. That's over there. Suspect vehicles of blue infinity circle in the area, possibly following the victim of Mills Panic, white shirt, blue windbreaker, black and red basketball shorts. Code two instant three nine four seven thirty nineteen thirty five. Hey, and I seen like that one of those delivery robots today, guys. man, Astoria, and Glenolf. Suspect is an unknown person wearing all black walking out into the street in front of cars. It's code two, incident three nine four four eighty nineteen fifteen. Look at the diesel price. Seven fifty a gallon for fucking diesel. It's insane. These motherfuckers, dude. And that stupid robot got in my way. Let me show you guys. I'm going to show you, show you a quick video. Son of a bitch. Didn't even know how to get across the fucking street. Hey, 17 and 415 Major Group at the gun, Manchester and Decker. I think there's a shooting of about 100 people at the location. Of like, the way, at least 10 mils with like he stopped in the street. <laughs> <laughs> this fool got right in the middle of the street, and the 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 marking that that splits the two lanes across stopped the robot. She just stayed there for a second. Wait, get out of the way, asshole! So there you go, guys. We're this close to having the robot dogs, and those are delivery robots. Uh, Sarah, yes, they they give you a, it's like a food place. They're using them now, so that way they don't have anybody wasting their exhaust and gas and tires and everything else driving around the neighborhood dropping sandwiches and shit off. So they lock it and they give they text you a code, and you just literally punch in the code and it opens it up. Problem is, is a lot of them have been attacked. Um, dude, a lot of the homeless idiots, you know, the vultures that are out there, they know now that there's goods in them. So they're going to knock them over just to be a dick or they break into them and they, they literally, you know, take the contents, the food that's sitting in there. So there is that unless I guess they're getting it on a dry run when it's coming back from delivery. So, yeah, man. Tip them over. I'm telling you, that's a lot. A lot of people are doing. It's a sad deal, but they are doing it. They don't like them. But if you think about it, in a sense, it is. Um, it is kind of a. 
I don't know. It'll end up putting a lot of people out of work, but it, it definitely would ease the commute in, in, in congested areas. Less cars on the road, less people delivering Uber Eats, foods, kind of shit, you know, that in that sense. But it's, you know, you gotta be careful with all that AI, man. I was literally telling, talking to my friend right now, and uh, he was busy telling me about how... Um, you know, how they want to scan his face. The dude from Stranger Things. They want to scan his face, use his likeness, and just pay him a smaller amount than having him actually do it and get paid. There's Califield Lives. I've been on those. I ain't been on that one, but I've been on the other one. I don't go on these carny rides no more, though. I don't trust the motherfuckers who put them together. I don't know, Jockey. Probably not. Well, think about it. They'll never be late to work. They'll never ask you for a raise. They'll work until you can't work them no more until they literally fucking break. So, in that sense... You know, it's one hell of a thing. I mean, think about it in the Jetson sense, right? Let's be honest. If if the government, let's just say, was making robots and gave everybody a cleaning robot, you wouldn't take it and have them clean your house or your apartment for you? I'll take Put them in the closet like your broom? And that, of course, would be the tip of the iceberg, you know? Then you get one for doing this and that. Next thing, you're not doing anything. You know, it's the dumbing down of society in a sense, for sure. And like I said, unless in 20 years, unless you're a super highly skilled individual, I don't see you working, doing anything. Hey, you know, it's Criminal threat suspect there now, 64, 44 Denny Avenue. Suspect is a male Hispanic in his 60s wearing a white shirt, blue or black pants. Unknown if weapons. Code 2 and 3959 or D1519. Yeah, I'll take a dab right now. I forgot. I'm so busy doing all this shit. Yeah, we could put on the hand. The, 450 is quiet, too. We can go on 435. See what they're up to over there. It's quiet over there, too. It's all quiet on the deck Sunday night. Um, I mean, it is the, the newest thing there, Steve. You know, the these robots are not something that just started. And you know what's funny is... I just saw a thing on um, <clears throat> the sheriff department in West Hollywood. They're starting a new program where they want the residents to download an app on their phone. And that way, if you get pulled over, it's a pilot program. If you get pulled over by the cops, the cop doesn't get out of the car anymore. Okay. Doesn't come anymore to you. You turn your app on. All of a sudden, the camera turns on and you can see the cop. He can see you. You guys discuss whatever he pulled you over for. And then they send you a ticket via mail, and off you go. It's weird. So it's a new pilot program that they've been working on. And I assume if it goes over well here, you'd have less interactions with the cops, less lawsuits, I'm guessing. And I'm guessing that's more for traffic infractions versus obviously pulling you over for, you know, violent crimes, of course. But, uh, yeah, more, more traffic infraction stuff. So there is that. Yeah, man, Jetsons are here. Meet George Jetson. Jetsons was a cool fucking uh, cool uh, cartoon. Yeah, Meg, I again, I haven't downloaded. I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's something they just started. Elysium is coming. Fuck yeah, we got to try to shoot up into the fucking into the space station they have up there where you can regenerate and shit. You know, I thought that movie would be pretty stupid, but I watched it and it was all right. I mean, the premise is wild, you know. Um you never know, man. You never know. They try to make a perfect society cuz the rest of this shit is dead down here. So, you never know, man. Oh, I forgot. Is the new Showtime out today, too? The new Laker? I, was, I think it uh, should be like 
eight, I think, right? Episode eight. Hmm. Get my robot legs. Yes. I need some robot legs. I need a robot cock. I told them when they put and the UVY. when I put the plates in the pins in my leg and my arm. I told the doctor that I swear on everything. I said, why don't you put a fucking pin in my dick? <laughs> Be knocking over lamps at the party and everything. As soon as everything's all over the floor, everybody's up. Oh, Damon's here. You know, you can fucking hang your hat on it. You know what I mean? You're at the pool. You need a place to hang your towel. Just hang your towel on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Penis on top of Bonnie Brain and Six, Bonnie Brain and Six, no pair requested to the other locations, possibly 211. There's really bad connection. The line was disconnected. Just no further. Scott 397 And I can't lie, I was kind of angered that they didn't give me the red eye either. I wanted one red eye, dude, just like the fucking Terminator and shit. Walking around like fucking Arnold and shit, man. That's what I'm talking about and do the whole Terminator fucking thing, dude. Yeah, man, you gotta love Arnold, Sarah. Come on now. He's great. Arnold's fucking... At least he was in that movie. Transit unit, ambulance, overdose. 5801 Marmion Way at the MTA A-Line Highland Park on the platform. It's good to incident 3974 and RD 1118. Uzi 9mm. Domestic violence at 6620 Stria Avenue and apartment 2 monitor comments. Good to incident 3982 RD 1249. Battery domestic. You got to chill. You got to chill. Conan the Republican. Unit, Vandalism, 12360 Riverside Drive to the rear of the building underneath the underpass. All right, we had two vandalizers under there. Always vandalizing shit around this joint. Son of a bitches. Arnold is king? I don't know about that, but yeah, I don't know. Arnold was uh, pretty good in the fucking, um, in the Terminator, man. I can't lie. He was pretty damn good. My CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. All right, heating up. Inside of Reseda Park near the basketball court, Pacific 1, male Hispanic, 19 to 20 years, black shirt, black baggy pants, Pacific 2, female black, 12 to 18 years, black shirt, black sweater, brown pants, code 2 and 10, 3, 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> He thinks I hear a maiden in distress. I miss Popeye. I miss Popeye. Do you guys like Popeye the movie? Never liked Popeye the movie much. I loved the cartoon, but I never liked the movie too much, man. I hated what's her name, Sh Shelley Long or no, it wasn't Shelley Long. Whoa. Who was the chick that played Popeye's girl? I mean, Olive Oil. Was it Shelley Long? No, it wasn't Shelley Long. No, right, Tony? Who was it? I can't remember. It was Robin Williams. He was Popeye. Right, Shelley Duvall. Ah, Avenue. thank you. Shelly Duvall. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't. You know. Shelly Duvall. I knew it was something was close. Same chick from The Shining. Hmm. Yeah. Did you guys like the Popeye movie though? Seriously, the movie. Not. We're not talking. Oh my God, it's fucking, bro. The, the fucking lightning is wild as fuck on this other screen. Oh man. Robin's still alive. You think so? A lot of cocaine that man did. Cocaine. The movie was weak, right? See, I don't think that many of you. Look, see, nobody. 
I haven't seen one person so far. I'm reading the chat room one by one. I haven't seen one of you guys say that you liked it. Hey, well, Sheena, meet the DCFS worker, 1263 South Dunsmere. Oh, something going on. Let's go. Kyle, if you lie. Subaru Forester, took two, and said 3995 Shining was good. Well, I mean, Shining was really good because of Jack, right? And the crazy word so kids. Here, Check PayPal. Okay. Thank you, Calamity Girl. I apologize. I missed that. There's the phone's over here. Usually it's in front of me. That's why I, and it's not buzzing. Thank you, Calamity Girl. I appreciate you, Andrea. Huh. Shelly Duvall still around? Unit, family dispute restraining order violation 830 Oh, why is it so busy on Sunday? On Western, towards the Thai restaurant, Mel White, 26 years, wearing a black surgical mask and black clothing, waving a knife around, coach 7400 Yeah. No, I think that. Um... I'd like to give a shout out to Damon and 6 UBY. Ah, there you go. On the infamous 147435. Four five zero is taking a dive. Four three five is coming alive. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. What I was gonna. Hey, Damon, ear. <laughs> ear. Huh? Is that what you guys like to say? Ear. Full moon on Friday? Oh, hell yeah. No, that's all I was going to say. The movie that, that, that fucking, um, that, uh. her only 1726 The remake of the John Wayne movie with Rooster Cogburn. True Grit. True Grit. True Grit, the remake. I mean, the, the original one's fantastic. But the, the 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 remake was pretty good. I enjoyed True Grit, you know. And I always tell you, I'm always bagging on the fucking remakes. They you know they're not doing them so great, and it's bullshit. And they're, but I think True Grit, the original True Grit, I, the both original and the remake were good. I enjoyed it. So yeah, Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, right? And um, and uh, what's his name? Woman, forty-eight sixty-eight Avenue. Front of location suspects a female white nude, no further. Oh, she's 40, nude? Fuck yeah. Wow. We've got Bush. Oh, have a pie. She tested very high on the stroke ability scale. Oh, Jeff Bridges is great. This aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> you kidding? You kidding? Of course, you can't not love Jeff Bridges. Fucking dude. You know what I mean? And Jesus. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Michael, T- what is his name? Totoro? Man, that dude, he, he is a great actor. You just, He's played so many roles. He's got range. You know? He was great in that. He was great as Jesus. He was great in, what was the card, the card, the, the poker movie? Um, God, fuck, forget that one. He was good in that Everybody one. Bread. Fools and Transformers. John Turturro. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, dude. Dude's in so much shit. Dude's all over the place because he's a good actor. Rounders. Thank you. Rounders. Couldn't think of the name. But uh, Rounders was good, man. That was a good one. So, can't, can't be mad at it. Like I said, everything he, he does is... I mean, dude, he was good as Pino is in fucking... Uh, oh, you know. And um, God, I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> fucking dead. Fucking what's his name? Do the right thing. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'm fucking high. That's what it is. I haven't had any dabs. I took fucking two fucking two hits today. Holy shit! What's this guy doing? Hold on. <laughs> what's he doing? 
What's he doing over there, dude? Is he wishing? Looking for some crack? <laughs> Red balls! You're not giving crack away today. Uh -huh. no, no. What time is it? It's 5 o'clock. Did I miss a 5 o'clock free crack giveaway? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Did I miss... <laughs> There you go. So, yeah, man. Shout out to the 435ers, man. It's good to see they're not so so angry when I uh, speak about them. And it's sad because some of the other ones that are angry about me speaking about the other one, like, you know, what I don't, under, what I don't think they understand is that um, <clears throat> sometimes there's couple thousand people watching in the room i mean right now there's 1364 in all the rooms combined so again for me for you guys to come in and like what are we listening to what is this who are these people i'm just trying to give them a backstory and this is th these are things that you could listen to on any of your phones it's not like i'm giving you something you can't get on your own phone you got a smartphone you can listen to these folks you know what i mean some take it very personally, some don't, and uh, I'm not going to change that for them. But uh, I think the ones that think that I'm a fool and that I'm dumb, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty stupid, but uh, I think I could change your mind if I met you. I mean, literally, one-on-one, -on -one, and it has nothing to do with fisticuffs, fighting, anything. I can literally show you, and then you'd, see, you'd say different. You'd maybe even think twice about your life changes or experiences or things you do. So, again, I just uh, I don't care to talk about those things. I'm very secretive about a lot of things because, again, it's my fucking business. And this world that we live in, it's just a lot of people love to make everything their business. And I'm just not one of those people like the look at me kind of dude, you know. So um, that's just it. And I never said I couldn't pass a ham test. I just said that I took one that was 15, 15 uh, questions online without studying and passed 13 of 15 right. Then I took one that was a little longer and didn't pass. And again, neither one did I study for. I know nothing about ham radio. Didn't even do the, well, just, just look at it one time, just skim over it, and then you'll remember it, and then just do it. Because that's what a lot of them say. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, I mean, again, it's, 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 it's not that. It's just... Time is of the essence, and when I feel the time uh, is right that I need to go and maybe go take a test and, and join uh, the fun sometime, maybe I'll do it. But uh, until then, maybe I'll just uh, bootleg for seven years. <laughs> ah, they'd get your license. The ham... Uh, Ham takes a license. It's a lot. Well, again, uh, you know, I, I think that um, a lot of people say it's not too difficult. And like I said, the practice test that I've seen isn't too difficult. On I give it, I get it. But again, I'm taking the lowest level of testing and that kind of thing. I'm not uh, I'm not trying to go uh, and do anything crazy. So it is what it is. It isn't important to me when it is. Maybe one day it'll be and then I'll decide to take it. But. Right now, it's just not. I got uh, too many things. Words are spot on. You know, my, you know, I just, it is what it is. I, I will, um, when it's, you know, when it's time, it's time, man. But by then, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'll smoke. I could smoke one with you, but I got to go in the other room and grab it. And the problem is, this old stink bomb over there is going to move. Um, there's no way. Yeah, because there's no more weed in here. Like, no more actual flour. I don't really want to dab anymore, but um, I really want some flour. And maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. Hold on. I'm going to turn my camera off really quickly. You guys stare at the cat. He's the star of the show anyways. We all know that. Um, give me a moment here, and I'm going to go try to run in the room, but I he may leave. Don't be angry when he does, because he probably won't come back. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, stinkings. You better stay there, Spank. Daddy's going to grab the weed. You stay there. Oh, 
buddy, you stayed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I should be a fucking singer, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I don't know about this being gold. More like gold plated. <laughs> like that shit that turns your fucking your fucking neck green when you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of shit I'd be doing. Alright, so we got the Jetsons. Oh, you can't even see it, but got my Jetsons tray. We got the weed already broken up in here. I do have this is all my weed. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and yes, that's the size of a Bic lighter. <laughs> okay, um, I gotta see Martinez, or I'm gonna have to kill somebody. Just life, right now, life's tough. All right, let's go hang out with uh, Dad's gone live. He's live at the liquor store. Shout out to Jumpin' Jacks with a sixty-two dollar dono for him. And there we go. Let's see what's going on here. We got one homie hanging out. We got a few others. Where's the ladies at? I got a booty. <laughs> I want to see the chicks. You know, we always got the hookers over here. Oh, there's one right there. I think she might be one. Hold on. Yeah, she might be. She might be hooking. I don't know, man. You're a whore. <laughs> Wasn't me that said it. That was Carter P Pewter Schmidt. So if you're angry, go ahead, write into Family Guy. I'm sure they'll want to hear it. <laughs> go ahead and try to Carter, try to cancel Carter. <laughs> Ain't happening. And if you try to cancel me, I don't give a shit. Come cancel me. And for the ones who don't like it, you know what I always say. You have a complaint. All you have to do. Write it down on a piece of paper, put it in an envelope, and stick it up your asshole. <laughs> there we go. Let's get it, girl. Mm -hmm. Now she got peanut breath, too. <laughs> Not penis breath, but peanut breath. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, who got the Barbie bike? Bro, did you just roll up on your daughter's Barbie bike to get you a tall can? Oh, my God. Hey, man. These ain't talls. No shit. What the fuck, damn Hanky? Get us some talls. All right. Go get us some talls. <laughs> God damn, Hanky. Oh, Barbie's in, no, for sure. Bro, it's a girl's bike. It's not a guy's bike. I don't, I'm pretty sure I saw him get off it. That's a girl's bike. <laughs> Better be her bike. But I'm telling you, it looks just like homeboy who got his bike took from Debo. You know what I mean? That's my bike, huh? <laughs> Smoke. Oh, Red's ass. Oh, Grandma Mo Bobby that chain. <laughs> He's going to cry in the car. <laughs> oh, no, what's going on with this thing? Oh, don't. Ah, that's why. Yeah. Jimmy's car. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, is that your car? I'm pretty sure that was Jimmy's car. That was the Tesla. <laughs> All right, let's heat it up again. It'll be quick, though, this time. The little piece. I forgot to put the piece back in. That's why I wasn't hitting the right one. Oh, Pickle Dick. Who fucking started a Pickle Dick count? That's funny as hell. Ah, uh, if anybody doesn't know Pickle Dick was, I was the old man who sits in front in the L.A. City Council meeting. 
I guess. Smoke. Shout out to Dad's Gone Live, man. Like I said earlier, it's good to see you guys. And we jump back and forth. Welcome to our our uh, humble abode. It's always great to see Dad's out there. We we're just enjoying the view. Oh man, hold on a second. Where did the pink bike go? What happened? Who took the pink bike? Can anybody tell me? I straight missed it. I was busy futzing with this thing. Who took the pink bike? Is that it? Is he on the pink bike? That ain't the pink bike. A dude took <laughs> it. was Red's ass. It was Red's ass. He rolled up. Did he have a tall can on him? Yeah, it was a pink bike, Nikki. He rolled up. It was a girl's pink bike. Dude got off it, went inside, grabbed him some, <laughs> and came back out, rode off in his daughter's pink bike. God dang. Probably the toughest dude in the neighborhood to what? Woof. And what? Say something. Say something about my pink bike. Knock your ass off. <laughs> That's why ain't nobody said nothing to him. Because they seen somebody got their neck broke. Yeah, this is a fun little 24-hour liquor store that's always got something good going on. I mean, she got a tall can, right? Look, she got a fucking Coors. Ain't that like a banquet? Them Coors banquets or whatever? Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. Let me get rid of myself. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see Ruger. Hold on a second. I want to get him in here. Hold on. Where's my camera, damn it? There we go. Yeah, look at the pupper. Stinks. Look at him. Oh, look how sweet he is. Look at that face. Look at how sweet his face is. <laughs> Old Ruger. I love him. I love him. Look at that face. Oh, he's a sweet ass dog. He's the sweetest. Stinks. There's your puppy, your buddy Ruger. Let me make myself I'll make Stinks bigger. There we go. Yeah, it's good to see Ruger. All stinks is asleep. That's all he has to do. It's happens when you look like Brad Pitt. All you got to do is lay around and just look good. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Shit, yeah. Mm hmm. Selling pussy, huh, but JJ got a barcode. <laughs> Dang, girl. Yeah, at the beach or something right there. But JJ do got a barcode though. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. she, they too young? How old are they? You son of a bitch. You had to break my, my had to break my dream. How do you know? It could be 22. I'm still, it's still too old and too young for me, but oh well. What can, I, what can I say? As old as I am, I still don't know nothing about ladies. It may sound amusing, but women are confusing to pop by the sailor man. <laughs> I love Popeye, I told you. And if Popeye don't know... Nobody knows. <laughs> there, no beach in sight. <laughs> uh, they were kind of running. Maybe they're getting chased by the aliens. Don't run. We are your friends. That was the best part of the movie. They're shooting and killing everybody. Don't run. We are your friends. <laughs> Just just mashing everybody in their sight. Don't run. <laughs> okay. Well, if I can't mess with them, Gabriel, at least I could, like, just stare at them. <laughs> just staring at them. 
They can at least look. I mean, people tell me all the time they want to look at my dick. Why does everybody want to see my schlong? Oh, man, they about to double bang it? Uh-oh. Is she pregnant? Bro, she got a belly like me right there. Can you see it? Motherfuckers with guts like that ain't off the cheeseburgers. Motherfuckers with guts like that definitely are on the cheeseburgers, dog. Uh-huh, just like me. That's a cheeseburger belly. <laughs> I told you, yeah, this is a crazy-ass wild fucking liquor store, man. This shit has got so much shit going on because it's 24-7. It just attracts all this shit craziness in the neighborhood she got that belly pop <laughs> that's right that giant belly just like me chicks are all oh, gross oh that is so gnarly <laughs> becca grading is worth more uh, becca ain't worth nothing i wouldn't spend a penny to get Beckett to put anything in any holder. Beckett is dead man walking. They didn't believe it when I said it to them years ago. I think they're starting to realize it now. They're fourth best at best when it comes to grading. Poor Beckett. Hey. Not to say I don't love PSA, but as unfortunate as it may be, PSA is still the leader when it comes to what you want to get money for, you know. Grammy, Granny picking up crack. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's somebody in the car. Which they were they doing a hand to hand, and I missed it. Did I miss the hand to hand transaction? Detroit two and one. I know, man. People are buying my Jared Golf cards. They've been doing it. I've had them for a while, and I, you know, I'll be honest. I didn't think some of them I'd get rid of, but I've sold quite a few. I mean, you need, dude, Detroit. The last twelve games, I think they've scored over 20, 20 points plus. The last twelve games straight. You know, just a lot. Imagine if they had one really good weapon, you know, on offense, uh, along with what all they have now, and. Maybe a little more on D, maybe a Super Bowl contender. Who knows? But I doubt it. Not that fast. But I think they could easily win, you know, 11 games this year, which would be really good for them. I can see them winning 11. Is she about to pull some titty out? Girl, you better know you're going to keep that titty up in there about to barf. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to fucking barf. Absolutely gross. <laughs> you better stop it. I don't want to see it. Ah, shirtless suspect with dog leads police on slow speed golf cart uh, pursuit. Live. Eagle versus Trialia. Thank you, Channel 5, for telling me ages ago. You guys weren't even on the chase. It's going to fall. I know. She got like a whole bunch of stuff in there. It's a whole storage locker. I don't even know what's titty. It could be like a padlock in there and a pack of cigs and a lighter and a fucking, you know, $3.50 and, and a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> some milk. Hell yeah. Get some milk up in that drink. Oh, he needs some milk. What's she do? Oh, man. It's a good thing she stepped behind her. Right behind her. When you're so smart of such high IQ, a straight Mensa member, but you live in somebody else's garage. Hmm. Something about wasted talent. I saw it in a movie sometime. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, Greg. <laughs> uh, she's, I'm guessing looking for, through, you know, looking through the trash, kind of get some cans, maybe something. 
I don't think anybody's throwing any dope or anything else in there. Food. She does have a beer or something with her, yes. I, I, you know, a lot of people, like I said, oh, don't know. <laughs> oh. All right, Steven. I'll see you on the next one. Bronx Tale, that's it. You got it. That was a good you just wanted to leave? Now you just can't leave. Now you just can't leave. All right, let me get this bowl up in here. Well, it's busy. Suspect there now, 1847 West 41st Street. 1847 West 41st Street. Suspect is a male Hispanic. Tattoos on his arm, no shirt. Code 374085, RD 395. I mean, normally it's not this busy. 1885, 1985, I'm on trouble. 6006 Woodale Avenue. Patient 906 Woodale Avenue. 9006 Woodale Avenue. He's a victim, female, Hispanic, late 40s, early 50s, 5'1", heavyset, blonde hair, wearing an orange flower print, nightgown, code 2, and said Christian Coat 3. It said 4096, Friday, 1988. Ricardo, he just pulled over after... Uh... He went about seven miles, eight miles, something like that. I mean, uh, we didn't see all of it, of course. Man, it won't Valley stop. Traffic ambulance, traffic, Santa Quiam, White Oak, Santa Quiam, White Oak, code three, and two four zero nine nine or D ten zero five. Um, so she just pulled over. I mean, she he pulled over. Um, in the I golf cart. A group in a vehicle one four six six one go half the street inside of a white Toyota Sienna license plate seven so, Jay. North King David nine eight four seven North King David nine eight four. You're welcome. Unknown number of occupants, drinking and drinking, unknown narco. The vehicle is on. It's code number 139. So he had a golf cart, which was funny. Stole the golf cart, apparently. From probably what I would guess, like, you know. Uh, Pete Zero from Washington on a pocket bike mail with a red hooded pusher. Either not. And he found these Bro, forget it. I can't say. Four four six West 89th Street. Suspect is a female Pete, no. Hispanic. Attempting to leave the location in a black Honda Civic with a two-year-old child. Suspect is 390. Code 2 and 1803, already 1802. Suspect's 390, intoxicated. Sure. Code 2 and 4100, Yeah, Bud Green. Wide out in Valley's always got a lot of wrecks, man. The streets are just too long and straight. That's why. People get up in speed so fast, you know, not too many curves in most places. It's really like a straight grid. It's not that way in L.A., really, you know, more in the valley versus uh, downtown and all that. So, yeah. It's not because someone on 046 Tom Oh, boy. Pending for hit or investigation. Don't be putting, it was just digging you in your booty and now you Touching your eye, you're going to get the pink guy. <laughs> she going to get pink guy. It's a crime wave. Tonight it is. Normally Sundays aren't this very uh, very busy. But uh, it's pretty packed tonight on that scanner. And just think, that's one scanner. If I put the other two on, you won't ever. won't ever get it stuck. And we still got ham on. Four, three, fives on there. They're just quiet right now. All right, here we go, guys. Smoke. We're going to wait for OF to come in here. Say something bad about somebody. <laughs> Talk about his weed. I'm going to go for Southwest Corner, Washington, and San Pedro, both suspects in custody. And you know what's funny? To the two also that were... Who who don't realize how I met some of the folks that were coming into this room. I don't think those two realize that I met Brett Shapin and rest in peace to Brett a while back. When I moved here, I had no idea how to put up the beam and all that stuff that I had. Okay, the whole Roan push-up mast and the antenna and all that. And um, he was living kind of close to me. I got his email. We corresponded we were trying to get it together but unfortunately his father got really sick and he had to take care of his parents which was a you know because he was such a stand-up dude 
And then unfortunate as it may be, he lost his life too. And, um, you know, shout out to the intoxication base station, man. You know, Brett was a good dude, you know, and I wished, you know, we could have obviously got it up. I ended up having someone else come and do it because Brett didn't have the time. And, but, uh, I don't think they realized that too, you know, um, they're just, you know, as much as I know nothing about them, they don't know anything about me either. So there is that too, maybe. Maybe that'll help a little bit, but probably not. <laughs> right now, yes, Foo 24 7. Yeah. Just the, it's, that's just LAPD hotshot right now. If I put the sheriff and the highway patrol on, it'd just be so much I won't be able to even talk to you. So. So what happens on the crazy nights, you know, so I got to limit it sometimes in order to be able to actually do the show and talk, you know, interact with you guys. These units, your possible attempt four four nine two six four four one three you Mont Eagle, please. Now four four nine in progress. <coughs> oh, suspect jumped from the backyard is attempting to open the back sliding door. Oh, Jeff, thank Central you for the raid. Early 1136. Jeff. Jeff Denning Art and everybody raiding with him. Welcome. Thank you guys for the raid. Mad trees, thank you for the bits. Happy Sunday to you guys. Hopefully everybody's football team won. Man, the Broncos. Oof, the boys got stopped. Platinum team remote. Yeah, that was designed by me. Danny sold it to Brett for an ounce of weed. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I know Brett liked to smoke the weeds. Yeah, man. Sad deal about him, man. You know, so that's why I just sit back and I enjoy listening. You know, it's sad to see how many have gone. Michael Gags, you know, Gags is gone. And, you know, like I said, uh, of course, Brett, he passed. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, Henry. <laughs> and, um, of course, fucking, uh, oh, another hooker over there. Yeah. They think they know everything about everyone. That's just so it's true. And then I miss fucking, what's his name, too? He was CDX. You know, CDX was pretty nice guy from what I, from what I gather. He seemed like a pretty nice guy. Sad deal. Ate himself to death, kind of like that, but, um. Uh, you know. Broncos, yeah. <laughs> Browns are trash. Well, they won, right? Yeah, Miami scoring 70 was just... I saw that and I was like, wait, what? That has to be like a typo. And then I went and looked and I was like, no. It's not. I thought it was the 7 and they just bust someone fucked up and put a 0. Like on the app. <laughs> so I went into another app and saw it. Because, again, like I told you, I had to work. I wasn't watching anything. I didn't want to put on the scores or anything. I was like, oh, my God. What's going on? Unit of 415 women, 1550. Correction, 415 men, 1555. North McCadden, outside the building, suspects in Mellon, known wearing black clothing. Code 2, incident 4119 and 3646. Let's go over the, let's see if they're talking to them. They're being, uh mean to each other here on 450 for a sec. We'll hop over there. We'll ping pong back and forth. Peer, the Bears are trash. You know what it is, Jay? It's everybody who thinks that Justin Fields is a quarterback in the NFL, and he just isn't. He may be the one you have at the helm right now, but he's not an NFL quarterback. I just don't think so. Either is Malik Willis. Howdy, There's a lot of them. Your Garoppolo. There's a lot of Assaulted the PR and their mother is currently on foot westbound 89th toward Figueroa with a two year old child. Yeah. Coach, still code 2, incident 410, 3 RD 1802. For the ones that are joining, this is Dad's Gone Live. And this is a live, uh, they're smoking some weed. Um, this is a live feed from Bakersfield in front of this crazy liquor store where hookers and weed smoking, all kinds of fun goes on. <laughs> uh, and I'm from LA, I'm from Southern California. They're from Central California, essentially, and uh, yeah. 
You out of here? Bakersfield is dangerous. Yeah, it's not a it's not a uh, place you really want to go. Vacation. Look at her. Hold on. Look at her. What is she getting? Look, she can't even get up out of here. Oh man, of course the truck. Gotta fuck it all up. I can't see no booty now. Dang truck. Nice ass. <laughs> Always over here trying to pretend like he needs some directions. Come on, bro. You know you need some directions to the Momo. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. <laughs> Any area that come in on Northeast Frequency 4459 and Progress 4413, Monty, hopefully. 317, <laughs> Ponce, DJ suspects 1515, East 100th Street, suspects of female months, and including... One suspect is there holding a possible handgun to the car's light gray Chevrolet Silverado. Dang! 4129 RD 1826. That booty! Look at that booty! Look at that booty! Look at now northbound Figueroa between 89th and 90th. She's a female Hispanic wearing a beige shirt, cheetah print pants. She has a two-year-old child with her. Additional incident, Bro. one zero three. Two-year-old child, you out with the baby on Figueroa? What are you doing? Located where? On Figueroa. Like really? Get your ass back in the house with the kid that's two years old. Be a fucking parent. Remember, there's the, I always tell you guys: just because you can have a kid doesn't mean you should have a kid. <sighs> Hell yeah, they're getting some Pacificos real quick. You got a case of Pacificos before, before uh, you know, for the uh, the sales stop. And then he's going to get himself right there, I bet, too. Bring home one of them. You guys want to party with us? We got some Pacifico. Y'all want a party? <laughs> Here's the parking lot. Here it is, the parking lot pimping and shit. They're over here smoking weed and shit. Look at them. <laughs> they was already talking to the other one that walked away. See the pimp? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they both mine. Which one you want, man? Give you a good deal. <laughs> I can see the pimp right now. Granddaddy was a pimp. My great, great, great granddaddy was a pimp. I'm talking about pimping been since pimping since pimping since pimping since pimping. Since pimping. <laughs> All the people in your family were assistant pimps. If it had not been for the Lord, I wouldn't have not had a nail another not a bitch come into my life. Not a nail another not 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 bitch. Nobody say that now another like you say that now another. <laughs> Nobody say that now another like you say that now another. <laughs> oh, well, let me get up on that blunt. Look at him. He's like, let me get up on that. Uh. <sighs> yeah, that's just wildness over here, Rita. <laughs> that's why we watch it that's why dad's got live nlm first responders they all pretty much go here for the most part i don't i don't think there's a streamer who doesn't roll up here Califield too probably all of them shout out to dad's got live for tonight's shot man and ruger and ruger can't forget about ruger AW with a vehicle, Corbin Whoa. and Nordoff, Corbin and Nordoff. Suspect vehicles an orange, PT Cruiser, suspect female black. PR, female white, blue shirt, blue shorts, sending my next to the bank. It's close to re-incident 4131 and already 1764. So we had a female in a, in a uh, PT Cruiser, an orange one at that, purposefully drive at somebody with their car, try to, try to kill them, try to hit them with their car. Oh, shit, yeah. Assault with a deadly weapon. Weapon being the car. That'll happen sometimes. That will happen. Wilding out with an orange PT Cruiser. Ready for fucking Halloween and shit. That big pumpkin and shit you rolling around in. That's why I was tripping up that PT Cruiser that smashed into the fire truck in South LA last 
like two weeks ago. Killed both of them inside. They were street racing a Honda in a PT Cruiser. Smashed them. Crazy, man. Mm -mm. Uh oh, the chain fell off? No. God, I remember that as a kid. Having to deal with the sprocket and getting all fucking greasy. Oh, it's a bitch. <laughs> I hated that as a kid. Dealing with that crap. His pimp pan was weak. <laughs> Person meet someone on a go to... PD for better domestic balance. Two three zero zero Centinella Avenue. It's code two and seven four one four zero D fourteen oh. That movie was great though, man. I enjoyed it. How high it was funny. Up, oh, up. Oh, there's another one. Dang, girl. I mean, at that point, you might as well just be naked and shit. You might as well be naked, girl. Let's go get bounced. <laughs> I'm saying we could just be bouncing in the car right now. Fuck, Ricky, what put your fuck is going on here? Back when we were teenagers, me and Lucy used to come parking behind the muffler shop all the time. It's not a lot of traffic, it's really dark, it's just a great place to bang. <laughs> Look, we just came down here. We were you know, sleeping. We know exactly what we were doing. We were here, sleeping. And I don't know why you can't just fucking leave us alone. Apparently now, I guess you can't bang behind the muffler shop. <laughs> Apparently now you just came bang behind the muffler shop. You <laughs> love Ricky, dude. Yeah, Ricky was the best, dude. He was too funny. He was banging Lucy behind the muffler shop. We were just asleep. <laughs> Ah, oh, goddamn! And you know his dad Ray is great too, with all the piss jugs everywhere. Yeah, hit it! Hit that bong load. David, that's the way she goes. That's right. That's the way she goes. That's right. That's the way she goes. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, yeah. It's the fucking way she goes, bubs. <laughs> oh. oh, they'll get club fed. I mean, at some time, we're going to find out what's going on with, uh, what's his name over there who just got indicted? Old uh, Curran Price. We shall see. At any time. I mean, that's why he's recused himself so much. He wants to lay low. Based on a critical missing last year, 418 South Kenmore Avenue. Subject is Martha Rivas, female Hispanic, black or brown, 54160. What's up, Jesse? And, uh. 54, subject last seen in location at 1845 hours, wearing a black sweater, blue shorts, gray slippers. Mental condition is poor. Subject suffers from dementia. Is diabetic. Any information? Contact Vulture Incident three eight six one. Yeah, so we'll see him in court soon. The first order of business is to tell the prosecutor to shut the fuck up and wipe that stupid fucking grin off his face because it's distraculating my case. <laughs> distraculating my case. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't tell me Ricky is an absolute fucking gold. I mean, don't think that, you know, of course, Trevor and Corey, they were good. Bubs was good. But, I mean, they, they're not. They ain't Ricky Gold. Ricky is straight fucking gold. Hey? <laughs> Space weed smoking motherfucker. It was gold, dog. Am I filming from inside a car? No. Dad's Gone Live is. We are using his feed. I am filming from the luxury of my room. <clears throat> yeah, it was a pursuit with a golf cart. You can re uh you can rewind to the very start of the broadcast there, try hard. And you can see it wasn't very long, but yeah, he stole a golf cart, <laughs> a security guard's cart with the little 
little fucking siren on the top. The lights. I mean, Lee, uh, Jim Lee, hey, or Lee. What's the fuck? Mr. Leahy. Jesus, couldn't even say that. Mr. Leahy, he was funny. I like Leahy, but I don't know. Randy, Randy, Bo Bandy, he was pretty fucking funny, you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They're definitely, uh, there's definitely some good ones. J-Rock, though, if you ask me. J-Rock was way funnier than most of them. You know what I mean? Good old J-Rock, baby. J-Rock, baby. J-Rock, baby. Your gut, it's fucking huge. Oh, no, wait, that's not that one. The other one. I need the J-Rock one. Where's the J-Rock one? Motherfuckers with guts like that ain't off the cheeseburgers. Motherfuckers with guts like that definitely are on the cheeseburgers, dog. That's it. I mean, Bubbles is funny, but I mean, I'm saying like things that actually Bubbles is more, you know, you look at him and he's funny looking and he, you know, you know, and every once in a while, he, you know, I'll fucking crank you. You know, he'd say, a, you know, funny things here and there, but he was more funny looking as to where Ricky was really both. And he was funny or whatever he said, you know, no matter what Ricky told you, it, it was funny. You know, he's always saying some stupid shit because he, you know, wasn't very smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Not the kind of person to say a toe to so, but you know what? A toe to so. A fucking a toe to so. See what I mean? A fucking a toe to so. You see what I mean? You can't even say I told you so because the toe to so, he had to say it was funny. Now, Julian, to me, wasn't funny at all. Any West LA unit possible for for nine six there now. Rob, I mean, burglary. Canyon Drive. Lights from inside of the guest house are being turned on and off. Here's in front house. Wonder comments for additional. Two zero four one five eight or the eight zero seven. You know, and of course, I lo I love Trevor. I was sad when he left the show. He was funny. Trevor and Corey, they were good together. I didn't like Jacob so much. I didn't think he's very funny. Sam's not really that funny. You know, they're just there, barb. <laughs> Dennis and Terry, they were great, and so was Cyrus. Why would you fuck right off? So, if you ask me, it's just those, those, you know, edgier fucking dudes were way funnier. But, I mean, you can't have everybody being, you know, perfect. So, it is what it is, man. Conky, Conky was funny. All right, he was good when he did Conky. But that's what I'm saying. I have nothing wrong. With, nothing wrong with Bubbles. I'm just saying he was, you know, like I said, he was more funny in the sense looking. Any West Chopper unit of Chopper Collision in the area of. Is he going to pull that car over? I think. Let's see, guys. 62 is on West Imperial Highway. Let's see. It's on his ass. Oh. No, he's going to go left. He was on his ass, though. Hell yeah, fucking wiener schnitzel. I'll go for a goddamn corn dog right now. I'm ready. My wiener schnitzel drop, man. I know I got one up in this bitch. Wiener schnitzel. Dirt fun since 61. That's it. Dirt fun since 61. You want to do one more? I can do one more. You fucking Sam Squatch. <laughs> the damn Sam Squatches. I got to refuculate the catalytic inverter. All right, let's uh, nice and clean. Yep. Oh, shit. Let's see. Let's fuck it in. Yeah, sucker's dead. Sucker's dead. But it's a good thing you can hit it while it's dead. It's got to plug it in. Fucking pepperonis all the time. Yeah, and I was, I was laughing because fucking Ricky ate eight cans of of his dad's raviolis. <laughs> My dad had a really bad night. I don't think I ate eight cans. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, raviolis. I like the Chef Boyardee raviolis. They ain't bad. I ain't had them in a while. But uh, I'm not going to lie. Good old ravies. And it's dead on ham radio, son. We'll go back to 435 now. We'll pop back and forth like I said. Boy, it's dead, dead tonight. Folks are chilling. Oh, pupper. Oh, little pupper. Oh, he's got two puppies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm sure they love him. Oh, he's taking care of him, at least. That's good. 
getting them some milk. That's good. Rampart frequency mm. for both check. Well, at least he's taking care of them. 2617 West 7th. Correction. Hopefully. 2617 West 6th Street. Yeah, it's a sad deal. Ambulance overdose 16067 Valleywood Road. Let's go look at the storm. And RD10 See what the storm's up to. Sometimes it can get a bit sad, you know what I mean? Having to stare at folks like that, you know, having tough times. People like that shouldn't even be out on the street. They should be taken care of by now and we should have stopped sending money to Ukraine already a long time ago enough of the fucking scam and the sham you know what I mean we, if we got enough to help all them we got enough to help a lot of Americans that are suffering and their pets too and again <clears throat> everybody says to me well Damon you don't ever have a plan well <clears throat> I say to you the ones that are spending $700,000 a unit plus the idiotic Two, three millions of do- two or three million dollars that they t- two to three million sorry that they spent on literally just doing um, surveys and how they would do these things that they didn't even do, you know. Um, when you can go get a brand new twenty twenty three trailer, I w- I was looking at them, twenty twenty three trailers, okay, and I mean nice. I, I mean dual bunk beds, a uh, seating area with a table, a uh, a. Uh, 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 a uh, stove, microwave, AC and heat, uh, a large deck bed on top of the bunks. This is all just for one person, though, okay? And the best part was every one of them came with a fireplace, not only for ambiance, but for actual warmth. Yes, a, a fireplace inside of the trailer. <laughs> A bathroom, a shower, all of it, fifteen thousand or eighteen thousand. I think it was eighteen nine nine five. So I say to you, you figure what twenty two thousand, whatever twenty five k a pop, even after taxes, which it wouldn't even be that much, just to deliver it and taxes and all that, set it up. And I say to you, the government's not going to give you that. You take all the money that we've been fucking, we've been robbed of, and you just buy a bunch of trailers, at least for the time being. And um, put them on your government land instead of having people out in front of hardworking people's homes and having their property values ruined or they can't even sell their homes in some cases anymore. You know what I mean? It'd be a real, real, um, what do you call it? Real, uh, not, it really wouldn't be a hard thing to do in a sense. It really wouldn't be. You know, and I get it. They don't want to do it. But why, Damon? Because again, the, it if you solve the homelessness and you put everybody up, there'd be no way to grift anymore. They grift. They love that money. They use that money. They make sure that it, everybody still staying out there and not it never, you know, money is never enough. You just, you know, whatever you think it is, well, we need 10 times that. And then 10 times that will still won't be enough. And that's just how they do it. <clears throat> it's their way to grift. It's their way to create budget. You know, it's just a sad deal, you know. They don't care about these people. And then that's the worst part. They virtual signal like they do. Not one of them would take any of them in their houses. <laughs> Same with the fucking migrants that are coming in. Not one of them would put them up in their own homes. Not even put a tent on their front lawn and said, live out there, shit on the side of the house so nobody sees it. None of that's happening either. It's insane. It's insane what's going on. Idiocracy was a documentary. Changed my mind. Yeah, well, I mean, what was it? 2055? I think that was the year. It was 2055. So we don't have too much longer to go. I know I won't be alive. (laughs) I won't be able to see it. But yeah, I don't know. It'll be pretty weird. Pretty weird, man. Come on up. Come up on Air Canyon for Central Bureau. People buying their own coffins. Well, everybody's just going to go to Costco because remember you, you know you you can go and take law school there. And, on Bureau, you know everything goes. Three, uh, two, eight, six, everything three, goes on a Costco. Uh, roof check on six, Welcome to Costco. I love you. I disappeared. Oh yeah, I did. Hold on. 
Just wanted to show the storm. I want to see. It's still got some lightning and light rain. Costco loves you. I love you. Your floor is clean. Your floor is clean. Your floor is clean. Oprah still has rooms available. Yeah, right? Fucking Oprah, dude. I mean, she got a thousand raw acres. Same with Jeff Bezos. All that acreage, they could put tents up and have people over there when they were going through and put them up. Ah. <laughs> Can't live and have them living near my ostriches. Uh, 21. I don't even think he's got a card. I would be honest. I, 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 I definitely don't. But most people don't have cards. But I could be wrong. Through a glass breaking a window. A male with the black hooded sweater exited and physically assaulted her. Both parties possibly leaving in a black compact unknown relationship. It's good to instant for one eight zero two ninety five. Hold on, let's. Uh... That's in Fort Lauderdale, Cody. Cody. Yeah, it doesn't come up. Anything, nothing comes up on eBay. Cause you got to remember, you know, most the way they write checklists, you know, most of the time it's for you know big star players and stuff, and mostly for the offensive players, not so much for the guys on D. Although he did play the O line, the O line play O line guys usually don't have cards. Same with the defensive players lots of them do not you know the bigger ones do the Aaron Donalds and, and the like but majority do not that's no slight to yeah, them. For Kirk Radio check. that's no slight to them it's just how the card manufacturers make their checklists you know what I mean so so yeah <laughs> Is the Pfizer poster boy banging Taylor Swift? How the fuck would I know? The Pfizer? Are you talking about the idiot, the Shirelli guy? No way. There's no way she's boning him. Ain't she boning Travis Kelsey? Isn't that like what everybody was going nuts over? Why the fuck was she sitting there with Kelsey's fucking mama? Right? I mean, come on. Mm. She's banging out Kelsey, I bet. You know what that means. Oh, those kind of ladies are trouble. Taylor Swift's a dude. <laughs> I'm lying. Thanks, McBeefy. I appreciate the kind words. What's up, Belly? Yeah, it. Uh, don't know what else to say about that. I don't know about their lives. All right, one more time, anybody on frequency for a dirty, quick radio check? Nope. You're loud and clear. You're killing it, bro. You're full quieting, man. <laughs> he he's blowing T Swift's back out. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You know it's me, MF Rob the Key. Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons. He has a card. That's what I'm saying. Some do, just not everybody. No way. There's too many players. And a lot of players, they don't, you know, sometimes they are a part of the Players Association, but they don't uh, give away oh, their yeah, likeness. Code 4, 3625 Beverly Boulevard, suspect in custody. Some players don't like signing their names and shit. They understand the value of their signature. And then there's guys like Pete Rose. Yeah, Matt, what's up, brother? You know, Pete Rose signs everything that moves, anything and everything. He... You can buy boxes that are literally Pete Rose cards, and there's one, and they're 20 bucks a box, and there's one Pete Rose autograph I'm guaranteed. Forever, you go? In every box, you'll get one. <laughs> so, I'm a chick, yes. I know you can't bang me. Okay, that's right. Katie six check You think Taylor's a dude, too, huh? I don't think so. Free Pete Rose. Well, they freed him. 
That freed that bowl cut he's got. <laughs> Full, Full might even had an original Edgar, too. His shit was kind of sus. You seen his as an early day Pete Rose's hair, like 81 ish. Yeah, you better look. That was kind of Edgar ish. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's just burp on the mic. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, Virgil. I bet. Well, I'm kind of cute. <laughs> Talk about that, face. He just lied. That was Pete's problem. In the sense. We gotta have that bone. He wants the bone. I took that bone. I don't care, Steven. <laughs> to me, I, I, I've never even seen the titty. I never saw Jack Janet Jackson's titty. I never, um, I never watched that shit. That was my time to fucking go out and smoke the weed. You know, I, I don't give a shit about the commercials. The double radio noise, Sean. Yeah, that was that was the that's the ham radio guys that we were listening to. Some of the folks on here wanted to listen to the some of the goings ons on the repeaters. So I was hopping hopping back and forth for people to listen to that. Sorry, there, Sean. Yeah. Ham radio is kind of like CB ish in a sense. I mean, I'm sure they get offended by me saying that, but. You know, because they're not truckers and stuff. But again, um, in more of a layman term to ones who don't understand radio, it's kind of like that. It's like a chat room with radios. And uh, a lot of times it can get quite uh, testy, you know, with some folks. Some folks really love each other. They enjoy each other's company and they talk about fun things. And then there's some that's just, it's just bedlam. You know what I mean? It's a. Uh, as soon as they hear each other's voice, it's on like Donkey Kong. And think of like Mr. Herman, you know, times like three. Is he rolling a joint? What's he rolling right there, guys, in his hand? Does he got something going? Get it, Tom? I'll tell you what he got is fucking got his ass. Or she got her ass crack fucking hanging out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Absolutely gross. <laughs> oh, she looks angry too. I should be the one that's angry. Oh, you guys. Sorry. I thought you guys were on the other one. My bad. Yeah, I saved you from it anyways. It was this chick and it was her. She was, uh, he pulled up and she was sitting there. I thought she was rolling a joint and she wasn't. She was. Bending over and her fucking butt crack was showing. I know you can't see me. I know that. I just, the reason I did that so that way you could see her butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> that way you'd be subjected to what I had to fucking see. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I'd rather see Ruger. And then, yeah. Her picking at her feet. Fucking gross. All right, let me, uh, let's find something else because that's not really what I want us to look at. Oh, hell yeah, let's go to the Africa cam. Let's go take a look at this shit. I ain't seen that. Shout out to Dad's Gone Live. Big ups to him. Stay safe out there. And, and uh, shout out to everybody who uh, hopped in with us from there. Shout out to Ruger, too. I love Ruger. He's such a sweet pup. He's got such sweet eyes on him. You can tell he's a sweet doggy. He's a sweetum. I love labs, man. I mean, I've never had one, but they just seem like the best, all like one of the best dogs. They really do. Good old labs. Oh, look, it stinks. It's all. He just woke himself up. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> he started twitching. And he fucking woke himself up. That's funny, dude. That was a good one. Stinks.
Labs are amazing dogs. Yeah, they they seem like it. My uh, my cousins had a uh, neighbor, and they had a like a yellow lab named Bomber, and uh, it was the coolest dog, man. Just such a such a nice dog, you know, to all of us as kids, and then run around the beach with no. You know, no uh, no worries of ever biting you or whatever. And off a leash and nobody gave a shit. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, we know him. He's cool. He ain't going to do nothing. Let's go see what Vegas is up to. See if it's packed. There we go. We're live on the strip, ladies and gentlemen. That quickly, we can zoom over to lost wages. Let's see. And I'll do one more uh, bowl with you guys, and then I'm out of here, Mike. Cause I got to take stinks in the morning. To the doctor. Good night, M6 UBY. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Timmy. Good morning. The time is 12 a.m. All right. Thank you for that shout out, Timmy. Earlier. Oh, what's that? He's got the little scoot gang. Oh, the scoot gang is on. I missed him. I love the scooter gangs out there. I want to I want to do that like we can get like 30 40 scooters. <clears throat> Good old Brad. What sucks? Brad. So <laughs> trying to figure out what's wrong with the Redidio. Some reports sound good, some repeaters sound like shit, and I don't know. All right, West, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend, or end of the weekend. There. Have a great week. Sorry. Good old Morse code. It's funny how just many people... a radio check from an honest person. It's funny how people still call it Morris code, but it's Morse. I'm Morris. fine over here. You had it right. You got it right. Bro, is that a fucking... What is that kind Crystal of... Crystal clear, real sound. Sounds fine, you oh. know. We're 10 8, we ain't 10 9. <laughs> 30 fat guys on a scooter. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I Your wish... Your words are all legible. be sweet if we could do the You're Mario funny. Kart. Shh. Dress up like Yoshi or something. Fuck yeah. Just, you know, cut the stash, dude. We'll cut it all. Just do a fat stash and I'll do all yeah, the Mario. Yeah, folks tell me, man, we're cutting out that kind of crap. See that, you know, somebody's got a heart on for me up on Keller. If that's the case, okay. But yeah, it's not going to be chasing my tail. I mean, I like chasing tail, but not my own. <laughs> Sound fine. Yep. Don't let anybody march your mail. Dress up like Mortal Kombat. You know what's crazy? Because I watched this documentary. Did you know that Mortal Kombat? When it comes to my abilities to operate my radio station. Did you know Mortal Kombat characters? So, all right, cool, man. Waving the hand back down there, too. All right, man, I've been screwing with this for an hour and a half. Uh, Did you know Mortal Kombat characters are in NBA Jam? Marijuana frequently. Never knew that. They're in NBA Jam. More fiber. <laughs> now that's fucking funny. <laughs> Kudos. And that's five blocks. Yeah, special characters. Uh, didn't know that. All right, good talking to you. And that's um, marijuana forever. <clears throat> it N6 was TV on YouTube TV. called Insert Coin, I think it's called. Insert Coin. And it's basically... I like that, enjoying marijuana forever. <laughs> well, I, was, I can remember underneath the stairs of the Lutheran Church. Um, it's basically all about Bally, Midway, and Williams, the three big software makers at the time. And how Bally Midway then got together and then they were battling against Williams. And then Williams ended up buying up Bally Midway. It was just a whole crazy circle. So you go to see all the games they created, which the biggest one was at the...
all in all, really Mortal Kombat. I mean, dude, they just put another one out this week or yet today or yesterday. NFL Blitz, yeah, that was in there too. How they made the Blitz game and all that shit. Arch Rivals and fucking NBA Jam and how they use the same fire and fucking NBA Jam as they did in Mortal Kombat. And yeah, it was wild. Just watch it. It's really cool. If you enjoy video games, it's a great. It's it's a little long though. It's like two hours long, but uh, it's it's a. It's, Nothing wrong with that. I understood you perfectly. Yeah, it's worth the watch. We, we speak owner language. Right, well, they're smoking. I need Here. to smoke. Let's go. Ear. That's my weed voice. Okay. What does ear but mean? Why do you guys say ear? ear man. Chris, why do you guys say that? All right. I don't understand that. Yeah. I never understood it. I've heard it before. Time to come ahead. Oh, hey, man. Are you there? KCKMF. Tanneris, the tank game? I don't quite remember that one. Konami was great. All Double right, dribble. And six UBY. It's a documentary Dixie called, I think, Insert Coin on YouTube. Let me let me see. I think I'll... Let me see on the other... Might be able to find it for you. Get it. Listen to the bubble. Name that sound. Yep, here it is right here. Um, hold on. Uh, let me, uh, you know what, here. I'll link it. I'll link it in the chat. Oh, I fuck. I can't do it on this side. Of course I can't. Fuck. But, uh. Yeah, it's it's just called it. It's called Insert Coin. It's on YouTube. Just that's all you gotta do is look it up on YouTube. Insert Coin. If you see this guy's face, you know you're at the right place. You can see the Mortal Kombat right there, right behind him. Ear means it's passing it to you. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, I, I I don't remember. The, I think it's been six years, maybe more, since I've passed. Smoke. I just feel like it's uncivilized, you know. Back in the day, I understand it, you know, especially as a kid trying to get weed, you know. But to, in today's day day and age, how easy, readily available it is. <sighs> yeah. I just think it's, yeah. I can't stand waiting for my joint to come back and all that other shit. Fuck all that. Yeah, it's a good documentary, like I said, Brad. It's definitely worth the watch. It is, I promise. You won't be mad. It's good. You miss Radio Shack? They made some stuff that was good. A lot of crap in there, too. <laughs> I do miss getting the scanner, the police scanner books every year with new frequencies. <laughs> and he read through the frequency book. <laughs> oh, okay. They added this. They added that. You'd manually, manually enter them into the scanner before the days of just connecting it to a computer. And, and at least now with a fucking, uh, you know, um, uh, zip code buttons. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. With ease, it's so easy now. It wasn't back in the day. Yep, we're live on the Vegas trip, Larry. Just roll around in Vago. I'm sure it's a nice little warm night. Gucci store got raided in LA today. This occurred one nine three one zero business center drive at the In and Out. Subject is not his right, name. Mayor Sir Blacher and Lou Pants three ninety was assaulted by a number of males. Code two incident thirty one RD thirteen eighty two. They did do that, Tony. They all fell by the wayside, especially fries too. You know. I remember the last like couple of weeks the fries was open over here. It was weird. Like you go in there, like there's no six people in the whole store, ten people working. 
Like, it was just weird. I've never been in such a large store with, like, nobody in it. And it's just not suspect there now, 501 West Olympic Boulevard at Renaissance Towers on the fifth floor. Suspect is a male Hispanic wearing a purple shoot, shirt, green pants. 390, code 234, RD 182. Um, Draco, I don't, you know, I think, you know, it's a nice place to move. Uh, you know, like I said, I've lived there for a little bit, as I told you. Um, as far as advice, I mean, choose where you live wisely, that's for sure, because some of the parts, you know, North Las Vegas, stuff like that. Not to say that it isn't changing, too, for the better in some spots, because it is, but... It's a lot of spots where you really don't want to live and things can be rough and you might really want to think about paying a little more money to not live in those areas and not have those issues and have to suck it up and pay a little more rent, you know, kind of thing to live in the better area. Hi, Kayla. It's good to see you. I remember him talking about that like he was taking not SIM cards. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Fucking A. But, uh, yeah, I just think that, you you know, Summerlin's a nice little place. It's a bit expensive, of course. Um, so, yeah, cho choose wisely in that sense. I just say, uh, you know, you can be in some pretty bad areas. In, in, in don't, don't let that, uh, don't be fooled, you know, by that. Uh, so... But other than that, have a good time. You know, most people, when you live there, you don't gamble as much as you think. You know, at least I didn't. I gambled the first day, and I never gambled again after that. It was weird. Just always, there was always something to do, you know. Like I said, I was a single dude. The, the ladies were really nice. I mean, fuck, I go to the dentist and just start chatting it up with the chick there and ask her out and go into fucking... You know, white cap to go get some supplies for the fucking job. And there's a lady there. I mean, it just it was, I don't know. I just didn't, it was really easy. Not so much here. I mean, it was, it's never been that nice here. I never felt like, you know, um, like welcome to come up to ladies and chat them up like that here. I think ch chicks here definitely act a bit different. Are you trying to me to me, man? You better get out of here with your penis. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, man. The chicks here are a bit different, man. Shit's a little diff. So, it is what it is. I Like I said, I just I had a good time out there. Um, the only reason, the reason I moved back, though, is because uh, the project was done. I was living here. They just gave us housing and everything to live there so we wouldn't have to go back and forth to Vegas. It was a really big job. We were doing the center divider, some center divider work there, and we were working on MGM, you know. Good old Krikorian was paying the bill, man. That dude got a lot of, or did. You know, he's got a lot of cash. Fuck, let's go here. Let's go to Thailand, baby. Let's so fucking get it. Live in Thailand. Let's get it. That's great. Beautiful. Suspect. Male Hispanic. There's nothing in Vegas for you. Well, there's a lot to do, Tony, especially nowadays. I mean, if you like NASCAR, there's drag racing, there's NASCAR out there. There's that track now on the strip where you can go get a Lamborghini and Ferrari and rent it and take it around the track. You can find our any kind of weaponry. You can fucking shoot like a fucking tank out there. There's a lot to do. You can go skydiving, helicopter rides to... The fucking Hoover, the Hoover Dam, or the fucking uh, Havasu, or the Grand Canyon. I mean, you know, it's it's not like it was, but where it was like, oh, okay, well, we're just going there to gamble. There's a plenty of great places to eat. A lot of shopping out there for the ones that like to shop. You know, like outlet stores, things like that. So there's a lot to do. You know, my mom, she used to hate going to Vegas, like. My dad was the Vegas person, you know, when he was here. But my mama, she, she I think she just did it to, to appease my pop. And it, just to get away for a couple of days, you know, have a little fun. But, yeah. <clears throat> Why rent a Lambo when you can have a golf cart? Well, get a Lamborghini golf cart and solve both problems, Jareth. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
So there's a lot you can do in Vegas. That's all I'm saying. And, and again, you're still only a 47 minute flight from LA, which is nice. You be in LA really quick. Weed is legal now hey, there. You're gonna come in That's almost. a nice positive for somebody like me. You have three major league sports teams yeah, soon. Harbor for possible shooting victim, lasting to about six to me, so. Right? All in brand new arenas. So, again, a lot to do that, you know, you don't really think about it, but there is still a lot to do. Vegas is a shithole. Well, it definitely has its problems, too. Any society that's, you know, kind of based around gambling is going to have some people having tough times. I mean, uh, it's a shithole here a lot, too. Four, five, nine, Hot Palace, Main and 36, Main and 36, in a tent trailer. I know the suspect's inside with PRN. Hi DS, it's okay. I I just jumped on for a little bit. I didn't even I didn't even know I was on this long. That's crazy. I didn't even know I was. See, I, my mom's like, just saying to me the other day. She's like, I don't know how the fuck you sit there for four or five hours and just talk to people and not. And I said, like, Mom, it's weird. I go on, and next thing you know, I blink, and it's three hours. And it's, here we go. It's almost three hours. We didn't even do it. Two six on Delhi Street now. Fourteen minutes assaulting a woman. This one here called two suspects, number one male, unknown tall, wearing a white t-shirt, number two male, unknown, wearing a dark t-shirt, assaulting victim, a female, unknown, dark hair, dark shirt on the grass outside the location. Uncle 3, incident 4082, are you 1781? I got baby supervisor, 8370 West 3rd Street, 14 the night. Love machine, uh, love 420 machine. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That's why I drive. I don't mind the drive. I, I'm there in three and a half, four hours max. Four with traffic, three and a half-ish. Sure. I'm there. I'm, it's not that long. So I, I'm okay with that. You listen to some nice music. I'm usually by myself. You know, it's just, you know, just let the scenery kind of take me away. I know what I'm headed for. Get into town, check in, go right on my balcony, set up all my stuff on my balcony, go take a shower. You know what I mean? Or I'll blaze, probably blaze before the shower. That way I get ripped after the long drive. Feel good. Now I'm ready. Take a shower and that way I don't stink like a big ass joint. And then go down and gamble. That's how I do it. Eat, then gamble maybe. Phase 2 location. Female with crying if there is needed. PD. Call to listen in 5-0-12-11. Or 8-3-7-0 West 3rd Street. Yeah, balcony, man. You funny gangster stuff, done. <laughs> yeah. I, I like I said, you know, the Cosmo. It's a decent hotel for me. It's nice enough inside. It's nice rooms, patio. On you know, it's got great views. I don't like gambling there much. And then they have the Japanese soaking tubs. If you ain't been in the Japanese soaking tub, you ain't lived. You can literally soak in it and open the window and be sitting there looking out the window while you're soaking in your tub. And no, it's not a regular tub. It's like a barrel. Like you're sitting in a hot barrel. Fucking great. 17 North Coanga Boulevard at the Hotel West. <laughs> Suspects of five now. Thanks, DS. Employee you rock. Comments for additional I'm glad you hopped in with us. <laughs> and your team, your team won today, right? Chargers won today, didn't they? I fucking think they did. Yeah, didn't they? Oh, wait. Yeah, didn't they do something stupid? They were saying something about it. I haven't checked it out. Did something stupid, almost lost the game, but then won. Beat the fucking Vikings. <laughs> fucking Vikings, dude. Cluster fucks. Good old cluster fuck. Redskins took a crap. Yeah, Sam Howell finally lost one, huh? Kid was doing good. Yeah, I'll hit one more with you. Just a bowl. Yeah, yeah. I got to break up a little more because I have some weed right here. Just not enough. Give me a small bowl. Just missed all of it. I mean, I, I had to work, but at least my team didn't play. My, my team plays tomorrow. And I don't know, man. Them Bengals are playing kind of funny. You know? So, we'll see. We'll see what's going on with the bungles. And man, I, I I finally got all those fucking Derrick Henry cards back graded. 
this dude fucking rushes for 20 yards today. I'm like, God, Sam, are you serious? Like, really, dog? Come on. Fucking killing me, Larry. You're killing me, Larry. I'm gonna go look at the uh, other side of the Vegas. Oh, look, they got the aquarium up. It's pretty crazy. Any seventy seven unit pass on DK six six five two zero one seventy seven street be able to bring Kia Soy to Alabama Kia. plate three one Adam seven three five Robert three one Adam seven three five Robert. Who was it, James? Who won? <laughs> well, they can't all be great, Mad Trees. Can't be great every year. I honestly think they should bring the Redskins I mean, name back. I don't like the Commanders. I think the Indians should be back. Because, again, it's it's just really, it's really hypocritical for you to do that and not take everybody down. Why didn't... Why didn't you take down the, the you know, like the uh, Florida Seminoles, right? Or the Atlanta Braves, you know? And to me, it's just asinine in the first place because you say to yourself, you have a billion, multi-billion dollar franchise and you're going to name it after things that are weak or, or uh, you know, you know, I don't know, irrelevant? Are you crazy? Why well, they call them the Braves? Because they were fucking brave. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think you should... Uh... I don't know. It's just my opinion on the matter. I think the... I miss Chief Wahoo. I'm not even an Indians fan. But I miss him. I miss seeing him on the jersey. I miss seeing him on the hat. You know? Oh, I mean, I know why. Yeah, Stephen, exactly. I know why. It's just sad deal that they did that and uh what i say to you is though you caved but yet the others didn't and they didn't change it's a sad deal so it is what it is that this it's the culture we live in you know and uh yeah sucks man it's why you know i'd rather get canceled and do nothing than bend the knee for anybody you know if you don't like it you don't need to but uh, it is what it is, you know, for you to cancel people because you don't like it is just uh, is wild. You know what I mean? At least on there, you know, at least on sites. Oh, we'll put that back up here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, stinks. Did I wake you up over there, bud? I did. I did. I'm going to wake him up again and get some water right now. Ooh. There we go. Uh, the Cardinals? Oh, man. Are you talking about the Arizona Cardinals? Boy, Dallas fans are hot today. I bet. I bet. that pick. Ooh. 14, Kenmore. Thanks, man. We'll be with sure. Thanks again for you. We got a lot of Dallas fans mad. <laughs> Questioning is that? I mean, is is he our guy? You know, I don't know. I mean, you don't have anybody better, right? Who's better? I don't know if there's anybody better on the open market because if there was, they'd be taken already. The tomahawk chop, yeah. Yeah, they hate that when they do that. Do I watch baseball? Yes, Emiliano, I do. I'm guessing it's your first time watching the show. <laughs> or maybe you just don't listen to what I talk. I don't know. I mean, either way, I mean, not that it matters. Not that you need to, but I talk plenty about baseball, man. <laughs> eee. That's it. Go Dodgers. Oh, Mookie and Freddie had a great year. That's really cool, that Mortal Kombat. That shit is fresh as fuck. Who's that, Sub-Zero? No. Sub-Zero was the blue one. It's 
it's not Raiden. Do the Jets go with Kaepernick? No. He's too old anyways. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> and that, again, is the biggest dis distraction ever. That's Raiden, right? He was Scorpion. Thank you, Buckshot. Scorpion, you're right. I think that was Raiden, right? With the, with the hat. That's Sub-Zero. Yeah. The, I'm telling you, Insert Coin is a really good little documentary. Anytime I see that right People who driver, like this game will enjoy it if they haven't seen it. With the black Chevy truck with dark rims, so it's like male Hispanic 30s. Possibly 390 miles of commas for additional score 2 instead of 90 and 99, 23. Uh, I don't hit blunts at all, Robert. I hate tobacco. But there's been plenty of times where I've rolled joints, you know, for you guys and hit them. But the re reason I don't do that is because it stinks a lot. And I used to do that before I got stinks, before old stinky over there. Um, you know, again, because as much as the... Uh, the fans pushing and the and, and the um, vornado sucking up the air and all that stuff because of all of the electronics. I think it just it's too much. I don't want to do that to the cat. So yeah, I just uh, I kind of shy away from hitting the joints. Besides, I want to do rounds, so joints are so Seven long. Minutes, four five. Yeah, DS, just like that. It's free on YouTube. Yeah, it's a little long, but it's free. It's cool. It's, good. it's a good documentary. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. You know, Crip, I don't, that's the kind of shit I don't want to deal with either. But nowadays, it's even worse. It's not even that. It's fools just like taking it from you, start smoking it, and then they get on their phone and they're swiping up and swiping left and swiping right and then hitting it and then swiping left and swiping right and then hitting it. And like, man, pass that motherfucker. Hit it once, twice. Snoop. Pass it. <laughs> so that's the problem. Yeah. On the sphere there, Mike. Yeah, the mic Mike gets crazy. Eighteen thousand seat arena inside of there. So that's how big it is inside. Last time I was in Vegas, they were I was literally on my balcony smoking weed, watching them build that, and they were just at the very top. Like the very top was missing. And that's what they were working on. And it was just like the shell. And it looked just like the Death Star. It was all like this black steel. It looked just like they were building the Death Star. And I couldn't think. I was like, what in the fuck could that even be? What is it? This is a critical mission broadcast. So, now I know. Martha Rivas, female Hispanic, black over brown. 54160, last seen at 418 South Kenmore. Jeters? At approximately 1845 hours, wearing a black sweater, blue shorts, gray little J's? Smoke condition is poor. Subject suffers from dementia and is diabetic. Information on incident 3861. I don't be hitting no pre rolls I'm You do realize this pre rolls is all the shitty weed, right? All the shit that falls on the floor that gets stepped on and yeah, and the leaves and everything just, just grinding that all up and rolling up your some pre rolls on your ass. That shit's already stale and it ain't even top quality buds. So yeah, I'm staying away from most, if not all, pre rolls. Anything. <laughs> Just saying. YouTube makes garbage music. Well, back in the day, they made some hits. I'm I'm not a YouTube fan myself, but uh, I mean, God, I think they no joke. I think they gave them fifty million dollars to do the opening to open this shit. <laughs> I want to say it was fifty million. Each dude got ten million dollars. Well, you know, it's probably a little less than that, of course, but uh, not bad. What's up, Jason? What 
Well, it's not the whole rolling thing. I, you know, I, I roll some pretty nice joints. It's not like that, you know. I used to do them all the time here with, with the funky field tips here. Manchester Avenue, over uh, yeah. 80 vehicles taking up for street takeover at the showrun. Quit to incident 99 or 1803. More street racing, huh? Those little street racing bastards. You street racing bastards. Street takeover, Manchester and San Pedro. Code 2 incident 98, already 1268. All right, let's get this final round going, guys, girls, ladies, and gentlemen. Final round. Let's go. It's heating up. I'm at 108 degrees and climbing. Boop, boom, stump, a dump, stump, it, dump, stump, it, dump. <laughs> I'll switch over. Flop back. See if they're mad at me. See if they're mad at me. Yeah, Braden, the last one. I gotta go, man. I gotta take the stinkers to uh, the vet in the morning. And then I gotta work after that. It's life, you know. Slaving away, man. Carla, I'm hitting it at 385 currently. Anything lower than that, it doesn't hit so, so well. It's kind of less smoke, you know. Uh, you still get the effects, of course. But I think, like, 385 seems to be pretty decent. Fahrenheit, one, not Celsius. 2414 East 56th Street in Maywood. Monitor for additional. Code 2 incident 101. Nah, Amelia, I'm going to be the last one, man. Cat is sleeping, Jason. He's over there asleep. See him? Right over there on his little chair. There's a little mat on the chair so you can get extra little comfort. And yeah, he's rolled up in a ball. What do I think Charlie Sheen's doing right now? Probably smoking some stuff. Smoke. <laughs> Here we go. How would I rate my joints from 1 to 10? I don't know. Easy uh, 7 or 8, I would say. You know, those, those, lots of people rolling better joints than myself, but they're not pregnant. They're not ripped. They're not lumpy. If you want a feel tip in it, I'll put a feel tip in there. Don't matter. Joints isn't hard. That's another reason why they... You know, pre-rolls do so well because a lot of people don't know how to roll a joint. It's unfortunate, but there's lots of cannabis smokers that don't want to, that don't want to roll their own joints. They don't how to. They're lazy in some senses. Woman, Olympic and photo, Olympic and photo in the middle of the street. Suspect is a female, white, early thirties, brown sweater, blue jeans. Code three incident one zero three. Are you four ninety? Because when I go to a concert, I like to roll at least ten joints for myself. That way I have a few to, you know, if someone needs one and they want to hit mine, I'm like, no, you're, have your own. You can have that. <laughs> That's on me. Okay. Then I still have a few more and I, I don't look like the asshole. No, you can't hit my shit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So That's kind of how I do it, you know. I mean, the thing with the roller, though, Greg, I mean, again, you got that whole stupid apparatus and then it rolls them kind of too tight like a cigarette. You know, I don't know. I just think it's it's really easy to learn how to roll a joint. And the way to do it, best way is, is you know, get three, four grams of weed, grind it up, put it in a tray and roll it and then break that one and roll it and then break that one and roll it and break that one and roll it and about 10 20 papers that you wasted you just start to actually figure out how to do it and and the key i think really with weed rolling good joints is a couple of things one it starts with breaking your weed up properly that's first and foremost 
okay? Realize what the texture of the weed is like. Is it really dusty? Is it old dusty? You know what I mean? Did you grind it too much? Is it too thin? Is it, you know, so consistency, having it cons consistent and completely Here's broken up properly is key. Avenue is now an open door. Snow code 2, incident 41920, RD1025. Right. That's the first thing. And then second is when you put it in, you literally work the paper from finger to finger all the way out a few times. So that way you've evened it out in there. So now it's not lumpy. And it's nice and even like a cigarette. That's two. So it's in some of for train order violation at 28127 Avenue, 28127 Avenue. Suspect in the compound address. Because there is 3310 by Sunday. And then when it's not. Now 18646 Oxford Street at Thursday and Hunter. Suspect is a transient. A male black 30s. Black hat, orange scarf, turquoise shirt, gray shorts. 390. It's cut to into zero one zero nine and already ten forty three. So yeah, already twelve sixty eight. Oh, it's still busy out here. So yeah, so after you do that, you know, and you've rolled it through maybe three times, four times. That way, it's pushing all the extra weed out, and it's making a nice and thin little snake or worm, whatever you want to call it, in there, right? <clears throat> and then just you know, roll up, roll up, and then tuck, roll and lick. And then you're still not done. Give it a second. Give it 15 seconds. Let it dry. Let the paper dry and seal. Take a pencil. Push down. Put the rest of the weed that's in there. Push down. Then you're about done. Now you can pack it on the other side where like the tip would be versus the side you're going to light. And, you know, tap it a little bit on the table. And it'll again pack it itself a little more. Make everything fall down properly and... Pretty much ready to go after that. So that's how I do it, man. Nice and easy. You know, because I don't roll uh, blunts and all that shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've rolled a, f a few right, white right, owls and fillies. With Boston Avenue behind the... Walgreens, you know, a few of the uh, white owls and fillies back in the day when that's what you'd smoke before fools, everybody was hitting backwoods, you know. Um, so, yeah, in fact, I think that's easier to roll. I think white, owl, white owls are thinner and, and Philly is a thicker cigar. So it's definitely easier to roll a Philly than a, than a white owl because white owls are a little thinner. Then, of course, you got to. Make sure you get ones that aren't stale so they don't crack on you. It's annoying. Any central traffic unit, CPR traffic, Glendale and Hyperion, vehicle versus sign, suspect is amount Asian 30s wearing eyeglasses. Most CBs, white yeah. Great, gray khaki great papers. Pants. Suspect vehicle is a gray Mercedes GL450 license plate, 6 William Henry King 154. Six William Henry King one five four code two incident one one nine or D eleven thirty two. I only use two papers, OCB and Element. And realistically, it doesn't really matter because no matter what you use, it's all raw papers, in a sense, because raw is slowly bought up everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, they're almost all not everybody. I mean, Burner has his own papers and a few others. And Zigzag is still Zigzag, of course, but nobody really uses Zigzag papers anymore. <laughs> I don't see anybody using zigzags no more, but uh, not to say you couldn't. Damon, will we lose to the world economic forum if you bend the knee, Nicole? Yeah, that's why, you know, again, not to get all into it, but by you not saying things and you just allowing it to be status quo and not speaking up, it will be so. Uh, that's why I get bloody coming through the door all the time because people don't um, don't like what I have to say for the most part. And what's odd is people still watch you when they don't like you, which is really weird. That's one thing I would never do. If I don't like your videos or you, I, I just don't. I'm not not one second of my time I'm not going to spend. It's weird. 
Not much police. Action. There's been plenty, Jason, but it's you know it's, now it's twelve thirty nine here, so let's slow down. You're welcome, VB. You know. You like raw papers? I don't like raw much. I got a bunch of raw papers here. They gave us a long time ago. You know, when when I was working at B Road CB and you know, you'd have sponsors come in and give you little things here and there sometimes. And yeah. Meh. I'll tell you what I did like is is the lift tickets, man. Lift tickets are the shit. That's my homeless company. If you never had a lift ticket, they're pretty cool. Now those I used to do on the show all the time. I have actually dabbed a lift ticket just to show you that it was possible. I'm pretty sure I remember doing that. And that's just a, 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 a think of a um, a rolling paper that's infused with a dab in it. So that way you don't have to go and take concentrates and put a little worm on your joint anymore. The dab is in the paper. So as soon as you start hitting it, boom. Yeah, Buckshot, it's on right now. 450 is on. There's nobody saying shit. And go back to the other one, four, three, five, and see if they're saying anything. But they're, I mean, you got to remember, most of these folks work or they're a little older, so they're probably in, in bed by now. They're not real late nighters. And if they are, they're up four, man, just, just four just o'clock in the morning. Shooting, 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 you know, they're, they're all up. They're getting up at 4 a.m. talking, that kind of thing, you know. Rice papers, yeah, mm -hmm. those are good. I agree, Tony. Fiber weed. What's up, uh, Fun Crime? How are you? All right. All right. Is the sphere open? I believe it is. But I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. At least it's done outside. We know that. Looks pretty darn cool. I love how the train... Or the monorail goes right by it. Just looks so cool like that, you know. Uh, Cody, if you want to listen to these guys and girls on the on the um ham radio, it's easy. All you have to do is go into your app store and get a and look for free police scanner apps, or look for Broadcastify. That might just help you right off the bat. Go look for Broadcastify, which is a free scanner app. Download that, and then go look in Los Angeles metro area. And then you're going to find something called the Renegade Repeater. Now, there'll be two of them. There'll be, you know, the 147.435, and then there'll be 147.450. And uh, the folks are a little different on both. So, they were all together on one, Then it split like I said, kind of factions kind of split. The ones who liked these folks went over to 450. Some stayed on 435. Some tried to bounce back and forth. So it's kind of a whole soap opera in a sense. So um, that's the pretty pretty much the best way to explain it to you in a nutshell without going really fully into detail with it. <laughs> but it's that. And so then you can listen to it. You know, a lot of times you're like right now it's on. But it's just quiet. Nobody's nobody's speaking up. But if you actually get the uh, broadcastify that you pay for, you can actually get the archives. Like you can actually listen to old conversations they had. Or if there's like a fight between one of them and you want you thought it was funny, you could go back and listen to it. You know, because they leave the archives up. So it's kind of fun in the sense for that, at least with uh, broadcastify. And that goes for any of it's not just their the channels that I was telling you about. That's any of the Sheriff, you know, anything on there. Two two one six four Court Street. Owner of Comcast is Vince No one two eight and RD two thirty five. Even if you're listening to LAPD, you can you know listen to the old archives of what happened that day or some crazy call. I don't know if it's like instantaneous. I don't think it's that much. Like you know, like if I hear it, and can I go back one minute later right away into the archive base? I don't think it's like that. Um, 
I think you have to wait. There's only a certain amount of time. But look at all the, hold on, let's check this out. Look at all the construction guys they're doing. This is all for the F1 race. <laughs> poor people are already saying how hard it is to get to work and shit. And, and you know, we'll a GTA suspect at 30 South Kimberly Avenue. Suspect is in the under, underground garage and now I know possibly is not involved. Did the Dodgers win tonight? I don't think so. Three other at 133 I don't know, did they? I don't know. Fuck, fuck if I know. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore. I don't know anything about sports, at least this weekend, because I've given my whole brain, you know, uh, time off, at least for the uh, sports. Four, two, one, two, seven, five, so can go city. Dodgers won three two. Sweet. So there they go. Dodgers won. There you go. It's in the chat. Walk off and Estes against the uh, the Gigantes. Fucking Gigantes. Yeah, they're having an F one race. James, uh, Jason here. Very first one of its kind uh, down the strip. The circuit is down the strip and then of course a block or two and then back. And they're, re they're having to repave a lot of it and they've actually put up these like um, bridges that are like uh, bolt together bridges. So then that way they can continue the construction and not bother the the pedestrians trying to get around. The domestic violence. A lot of shit. Two zero Montclair Street, apartment two hundred three. So he's a male, black, fifty two years, wearing a white hat, gray sweatpants, North Carolina blue colored shoes. Monte Carlo Station is at zero one three seven and R E three thirty four. No UFC next weekend. Didn't they have one tonight? I thought they didn't they do. I thought they did. Raiders got blown out. <laughs> Says Iron Man. I don't think it's this week, Jason. I think I think they're still building a lot of it. Uh, they got the grandstands up. I think it's in a month or something. Last night it was billboard. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't make any. I don't think I made any UFC sales today. <laughs> Usually that happens. Like somebody will win. Whoever wins, I will sell some cards of theirs. Let's see, really quick. I got a few. Oh, that's Roman Reigns. Thea Hale. Uh, oh, wait. I sold something UFC here. Hold on. It was a uh, Stipe. Did Stipe fight yesterday? Probably not. He probably doesn't even fight anymore. He's probably retired already. So I sold the Stipe card. Um, everything else was all wrestling. God, wrestling sells so well. It's crazy, dude. Just wild. Wrestling fans love cards. They love having cards of their stuff, of their favorite uh, wrestlers. UFC 295. Oh, so it's November is the race, huh? Mm. Okay, so it's still a little more time. So 60 days more ish, 65 days. See, I mean, look, all these lanes should be open. 437 Bryant Street, in Peter's backyard. Suspects are three persons, possibly two males and a female. Loitering, monitor the comments for additional. It's code 2 incident 141, already 1792. Yeah, that's how it is. A lot of times, you know, they'll win. Same with wrestling too. They'll win a big match. Unit, they buy their stuff. Three two five South West Lake Avenue. In front of the location, the suspect number one is a female Hispanic wearing a black shirt, unknown pants, holding a long spear. What? Suspect number two, male white what? wearing a black sweater, unknown color pants. What? Male has no weapons. Female does not appear to be threatening anyone with the spear, but is possibly Wait, huh? yelling at the male. Code two, incident one four three, or D two four six. Yeah. Uh, I need a spear drop. Unit, just left 1336 North La Brea Avenue. Suspect said, now walking La Brea Porch, Sun City's by Hispanic, 30 to 40 years, black hat, black long sleeve shirt, on a color pants, pushing a shopping cart, threatening to pair with a handgun. Scott Turner said, 140 of these 645. Wait, threatened him with a what? Handgun? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, they had a spear. <laughs> Got to get a spear drop now. Any Wilshire unit four fifteen five two three two five Linda Avenue Monitor comments code two and zero one four six thirty fourteen thirty three. Britney Spears. 
Throw me, baby, one more time. Now nah, you're going to make me watch all the Britney Spears shit. You do realize I'm going to watch those fucking every one and then cut up every little piece. And, well, not every little piece, but. There's got to be a better spear drop than that. I'll at least get the sound drop of like fucking when they threw the spears at fucking Ace Ventura. When he's like, ah, 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 <laughs> fucking spears are in his legs and he's dancing around. <laughs> I need it because I need to get that scene anyways because it's all for the white devil. And I always call myself white devil. White devil. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, yeah. Kelsey's balls deep right now. He's just banging it out. He just let loose. I don't know, man. Girl like that. A woman like that, boy. I don't know. She might be like a Kardashian where they just they take them down single-handedly. There isn't one, and I mean one, athlete that has been with any that has been with any Kardashian or Jenner and and done better after being with them. Not one. I could name you probably ten different athletes right now that all of them had solid careers, and they met a Jenner or a Kardashian. And they're and hey, they're Jerry, listen over done. There. done. Probably ten. Just man eaters. Fucking man eaters. Look at Ben Simmons. Look at fucking Devin Booker can't even shoot no more. There's two. Double A six T and KD sixty QF. Reggie Bush. Uh what's his name? Fucking on the Brooklyn Nets. Fuck, what was his name? I see his fucking face. Oh, let's go back to him. Um, fuck, what was his name? I see his face. It's a basketball player, Brooklyn Nets. Fucking. <sighs> let's see. What else am I missing? I know I'm missing a few. Not Brooke Lopez. Chris Humphreys. Thank you. Chris Humphreys. That's his name. Uh, Lamar Odom. There's five. I'm halfway there. Halfway. Blake Griffin. There's another one. There's six. <laughs> Trying to do it without you guys' help, though. There's six. Petty theft. The warehouse? Oh. With stripes on the arms, black jeans, monitor for additional clips, one center, one five four, already thirteen oh seven. Okay, thank you. Oh, my, no shit. Tristan Thompson, there's another one. Yeah. Twenty nine years wearing a gray short, black shorts, three nine. There's seven. Good two and six, one five six, nerdy one three nine. It was Chris Humphreys you're thinking of, Nicole. So there's seven. That had better careers, and all of them are are all now failing. Did I say Ben Simmons? Because Ben Simmons was in there too. Forgot about Ben Simmons. <laughs> Hardy, who's Hardy? Which Hardy? One more call for double A six. Already said. Already said. Oh, hold him. So there's eight. Hey, so we're going to put the two one two one two zero zero Pitt Street. Suspect to pull the fire alarm at the end and run for the fire alarm. It's code two and tell one five nine already twenty six. Ah, oh, Matt, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Matt and Irma, I appreciate you so much. I don't know. Someone else donated to I forgot. Let's see here. Oh, thank you, Calamity Girl, as well. Thank you, Mark Zimmerman. Appreciate you guys. I already got that one. No, Ken Griffey, Delant, stop it. Come on, let's be real. I already said Devon, uh, Devin Booker. Harden was Harden with one of them? Oh, shit. Fuck yeah, then there's Harden. I didn't even know Harden was with one of them. So there's nine. We just need one more, ladies and gents. Was Kyle Kuzma? Oh, shit. Kyle Kuzma with Jenner? There we go. We got ten. There's ten. Ten athletes that had decent careers. Most of them. 
None of them were slouches. And they're all shitty now. Except for maybe Booker. And even Booker isn't what he used to be. He hasn't been in the last in a little bit. Man eaters. He was with Chloe. Huh? Hard. Didn't know that. See, there you go. It's wild. You see what I mean? You know. Robert Ori wasn't with none of them. Rod Jerry, those are porno stars. Come on, man. I mean, look at Ray J. His career didn't go nowhere either. I mean, at least he got a blowjob on, you know, on fucking tape. Other than that, like, I'm telling you, man eaters. Terry Fisher was not with none of them. And look what they, dude, tell me they're not man eaters. Look look what they did to Bruce. (laughs) Don't tell me they ain't man eaters. Look what they did to Bruce. (laughs) Get the fuck out of here. I mean, yeah, I mean, damn it. And just think to ourselves, just think real quick. Those are the ones that we know about. Like how many, how many, do we, you know, that we don't even know about? Think about that for just a moment. Just letting you know. Most famous sex tape, which I mean, I guess. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I still haven't even seen the. The Pamela um, Tommy Lee one. I thought that would be the most famous one if you ask me, but I guess not. So I would have put my money on that one being more infamous. Jeter and A-Rod? No, nah, they were they were with J-Lo. She, she's a record kind of too. Wrecking ball. What's wild is is the doctors that work on Jennifer Lopez. She's got some fabulous doctors. Because <laughs> when you look at Jennifer Lopez and it dancing and in living color, and you look at Jennifer Lo- Lopez now, don't even look nearly like the same woman. I mean, you, you I, just nothing. There's you know, nothing that resembles it. One, two, four, three, e, 50, Complete 60, change. Subject, male, Hispanic, 30 years, blue sweatshirt, black pants. Monocom is for addition of code 2168 and already 1375. Yeah, I don't think her ass is real, if you ask me. Not fully real. I'm not telling you she has a fake ass, but I'm thinking she's got some help. Just saying. Some collagen injections, something. Something. I'm going to go out on a limb. Like they've sucked the fat out of the places that she shouldn't have had it. And they put that fat back into her ass kind of thing. I'm telling you. What you need to do is go Google a picture of a living color Jennifer Lopez. Go look at her. Watch her dance. And tell me. In Orion, an apartment building, temperature three, three male Hispanics. Number one and two are black shirt, sort of black pants. Number three is a lookout, checkered jacket, gray shorts, breaking into vehicles. It's go to incident 165 of the 1981. 4459, right there now. 11728 Wilshire Boulevard. On PR's balcony of apartment number B is in boy 104. The PR has now stepped outside the location. She could hear. Possible suspect attempting to enter. It's code two incident one six nine and RD eight forty two. Yeah. unit and supervisor with Smart Ambulance Mail with Milton Illness Hill Street and Fifth Pershing Square Red Line Street level. Monitor for additional code two incident one seven two RD one forty two. Yeah, yeah. I just you know again good doctors you know. I mean. uh They they can do a lot of shit now for you. <laughs> they definitely can do a lot of things to you. And if you got enough money, yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Where is she at? Hold on. I think that's her. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I 
think she's the one on the end here. Pretty sure that's her. Yep, that's her all the way on the left. Yeah. She right there. Not that's great VHS quality fucking tape to see her in. Good old VHS, man. What the fuck were they wearing, too? See, look at her. She don't look... Come on, man. He he was awesome and fucking do the right thing. Twenty D Energizer. <laughs> That's him. Ah oh, shit, yeah. How many you say? The time is twenty D. Motherfuck you, twenty D. Look at Jim Curry. Look at. Him. <laughs> whipping his ass. This show is fun, man. I missed it in Living Color. It's a good show. Century and Figaro outside in front of the Magic Carpet Motel on the street. <laughs> Magic a male Carpet. Black, 30s tall, medium <laughs> bill, wearing a white t-shirt. It was a female black heavy set wearing a patterned dress. Let's go 31174 or 1821. They're in front of the Magic Carpet Hotel. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, only on Figueroa. That's it. That's it, the magic carpet. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, man. I mean, it's fucking bed bugs included. Get your bed bugs included. That's it, Fire Marshal Bill, all that good stuff. I'm telling you, it was good stuff. And I told you, hey, man, I feel like I'm hey, man. You lazy man, I have eight jobs. I'm the landing gear, I'm the pilot, the co-pilot, the security guard, the flight attendant. <laughs> you only have three jobs, lazy man. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man was a great skit. Homie the Clown. Yup. I mean, all that shit, dude. Shit was classic. I miss that show, dude. I miss it. The head detective. Yep. <laughs> I remember people when Homie the Clown came out, fools were making that whole sock and getting in trouble beating Hi, people. Hi, Northeastern Impossible DV, a Riverside Drive and Hyperion, secondhand info from CHP by the Hyperion Bridge Monitor Commons, Clue 2, Incident 178 or 1130. Dead body call? Y'all want to see a dead body? All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. But uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was good to get back on for a little bit and had a, week, a long weekend of work. I wish it was a long weekend of enjoying myself. Everybody said, oh, enjoy your weekend. I was like, yeah, I wish. But thank you. Um, I'll see you guys, uh, not tomorrow, but the next game list. Unless there's a chase, of course. Thank you, Jason, for the bits. Thank you for all the donos tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Calamity Girl. Um, so you guys go and enjoy yourself, whatever's left of this weekend, which isn't anything. Shout out to everybody who... Uh, who was here and hanging out with us. Thank you, Tammy, for the shout-out there. Shout-out to OF, too, for hanging out. And, and um, there's, you can go hang out with these guys and go listen to uh, listen to Terry and Tom hang out. So I'm out of here, man. You guys enjoy the rest of your night or morning, whichever it is for you. And then I will see you guys on the next one. So... Without any further ado, I'm out of here, and uh, we have a stink bomb, and yeah, you figure it out. we're off. We can figure out how to do it. Good night. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista.